yeah, I definitely didn't have to um, <clears throat> restart my stream because I forgot to launch several programs. Um, hi! <laughs> How? No, I'm not a scammer! What the hell? Okay. No, 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 no. You can get your daily chip if you refresh the page. Probably. Hopefully. If not, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> System what? says, play like Biggie has resubbed for 21 months with message Shiv. You cannot be streaming this game when I need to learn for my German exam tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like Piggy needs to prioritize. German exams versus Shiv's stream? No competition. Education first, Piggy. What the? No, you're not supposed to say that. You're, you're, um, you're gonna get educated by my stream. All right, yeah, on, on, the, on the monarchy. All right, it's gonna be very edu educational. All right, <laughs> just uh, that's that's what he meant. That's what he meant. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, for some reason, there's a lot of scuff today, and not just because I forgot to, uh, you know, turn on the redeems and chip. Stream elements is also broken. That's uh, that's something. Well, I mean, I don't have any impact on that. <laughs> But I'm glad at least the daily chips work. The only thing I did is just turn it off and on again. <laughs> and that fixed it. Um, but yeah, if you're not able to get your daily chip, just refresh the page. It, it should work afterwards. Oh, hold on. <laughs> did you see that Kukuro got a new game? Wait, really? I did consider playing Kukuro today. But I, I, I kind of went liking the castle more. Did it? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. I was tempted, I was tempted, but I thought like, mm, I don't know, it's always the same game. So now I hear it is a new game? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just looking on the, the website of the Depths of Kukuro. Well, this one is an, uh, an ad for another game. Stampede Control. Is that the one? Is that the new one? I, I thought we already had... That one already existed. I think. Well, I'm not sure. But that's not what we're playing today. I was considering it. But we are gonna play King the Castle. Um... Oh, there was a thing, a message I needed to pin of how to join the game. Um, let's see. What was the command for it again? Oh, but yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone else. Hi. I hope you're all doing good. Hi. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it's always the same game. My sister in Christ. This game is only crabs. Okay, okay. Surely this time we will not just get crabs, right? Surely. <laughs> Surely this time we won't get the exact same effect we've gotten the last two times about investing in the crab coin or something. I don't know. <laughs> Surely not, right? <laughs> November is here. I suffer. Honestly, same. Like, ah. Uh, it's getting dark so early. I can't deal with it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Where's the daylight? It's gone so quickly. Ah. <laughs> oh, you sent me damn. Okay, hold on. Um, Sai, can you figure, it out, figure out what the command was to join the uh, King of the Castle game? Like, it was join, faction, and pronouns, I think. I'm not sure. I was just looking for it, but I couldn't find it. So while I read your DM, I am giving you that task. Wait, new minigame up to 1,000 players. Well, first of all, we don't have that many people in chat, so I don't. that doesn't really matter. But wait, I'm going to look at it. <laughs> What is this? Oh, what? Oh, that's cool! <laughs> a new minigame. This game is assigned to find a person who knows you best as a streamer. More than 100 questions focus on you and your personal tastes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? 
It's ideal for giveaways. Well, maybe someday, but... Oh, like the example question. What would be your favorite absurd superpower? The options are finger lighter, summon fruit, one inch levitation, and random telling. Oh, but that's actually really cool. What the hell? Hold on, I'm gonna send the link of it in chat so y'all can uh, watch along. But that's really, that's actually kind of sick. I kind of want to play that. Not today, but another time. Oh, that's weird. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I'd get to see how much you guys really know me. You guys know me so well, right? So well. <laughs> Yesterday I was thinking about going to the store, but then I looked at how dark it was outside and thought it's already so late. Then I realized it was only 7 p.m. I know. Like, damn, it already it's already dark at 6 even. You know, it's... Ah, nah, nah, it's not okay. It's not okay. And then they moved the time too and everything, and I would... I'm pretty sure it gets darker even earlier or later. I, I don't know. It's still dark. Can't, uh, no. Mm -mm. I like it more in the summer where it's just daylight until, I don't know, 9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or later even. Though, like, that's perfect. Give me more light. Because now it just constantly feels like it's the end of the day when it's not. Ah. <laughs> the only thing we're giving away are rose from Chip. I mean... What more do you want? Is that not... Is that not enough reward for you? What is that? Is, what? <laughs> it's gonna start getting dark at 4 p.m. Oh, no! Um... <laughs> oh, and it, like, it's not even getting daytime earlier. It, it's also getting darker in the morning. Like, how many hours of daylight are we gonna get? Like, five or six, so that's it? <laughs> no, I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, yo, perfect, Sai. Pins your message. <laughs> perfect. Thank you, thank you. Just have that up there. Okay, so I almost had it right. It's just pronouns and region is the other way around. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Probably was important. The worst ones are the Christmas songs. <laughs> I mean, some, but somehow, I haven't heard any yet. Somehow, I haven't heard any Christmas songs yet. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Mariah has escaped containment. I mean, I, to be fair, I haven't really seen much of it yet. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just lucky. Maybe I'm just lucky. Are we starting fresh and continuing the dynasty? Um, oh, sorry, I'm just stretching. Um, both is tempting, honestly. Because I know characters can return when you continue the dynasty. And so far, I don't think we've seen that yet. So I kind of want to continue it. Right? Like, I, I'm pretty sure we'd be picking the same dynasties anyway. You know, we, we already got the cool ones. <laughs> what was it again? We got the Counts. We got the... Oh, I forgot the names. I, I know which ones they are, but I don't remember the names. The, the green ones and the blue ones. <laughs> We got the purple ones, we got the green ones, and we got the blue ones. It counts Chiefs and Coast. Yeah, but what were the guys from the Coast called? They had a weird name. Uh, pet, uh, something with Pat, but, but, uh, uh, nah, nah, I'll remember. Hold on. Um, pa Patricians! Patricians! No, I got it before I read that. I got it before I read that. Patricians. I knew it. So they were pat, 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 Patricians. Yes. All right. That's a complicated name. Patricians. Travers. Yeah. You know, pretty much. <laughs> I swear to God, if we get the crab event again or the bees, I'm gonna mm, shut down the stream right then and there. <laughs> Just close the game, start a new one immediately, <laughs> and never pick the Patricians again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a, an event linked to them. Oh, goodness. Um, it is just cause if we can continue, we can disregard the region. But, uh, I can't read. We can disregard the region because it's only for the start of the game. That's why I asked. Mm. Eh. Eh. No, we're just gonna continue. I want to see if we can find some returning characters. I want to see... Uh, 
uh, the queen, like the original queen. The one who got turned into an immortal vampire, remember? Y'all remember, right? That, like, yeah, that this, it's all the lore, the important lore of this dynasty. We can't just restart. We have to continue. We have to continue. We gotta. We gotta. <laughs> the lore. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> um, but yes. So we are gonna continue playing King of the Castle. I already have it open. I still have the game muted. But, uh... Yeah. What was it called again? I had, like, multiple games here. <laughs> they all got stupid names, too. We have, uh, like, from old to new. The Dishiveled Dynasty. Shifneyland Dynasty. <laughs> And House of Chip Dynasty. Like, that's the newest one. That's the one we're doing. So, no, no matter how, my, how many times you ask, we're not going to ship, ship me land. Sorry. <laughs> and then, uh, we were playing as Monarch Harley. The House of Chip Dynasty. I don't remember if it was from the Counts, the Chiefs, or the Patricians. I don't remember, but... I'm sure we'll figure it out. I know whichever one it is, they're immediately gonna turn on me anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gonna, it doesn't matter. Y'all gonna try and kill me anyway. Is there any cheese? Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> Burn down the crap, people. Finally, something we agree on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> I don't remember what which one I was part of. Uh, I don't remember either. Well, I mean, the, the, the one you're part of doesn't really have that much of an impact on gameplay. It's just that you get to decide how to kill me, and that's it. I mean, unless you guys really, really want me to start a new game, I could. Do you guys want to? Because I'm, 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 I'd be okay with it, honestly. <laughs> nah? But I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind, you know? I, like, now that you gave me the idea... <clears throat> and just thinking about the fact that we don't have to deal with the fucking crabs anymore. Like, I'm tempted, but... <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> now let's continue. Meep isn't here. We can continue, but find either way. John isn't so we'll be bored. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, should we just continue then? Well, if we do get... Crabs, like immediately in the first few turns, I will close the game and start a new one. <laughs> like that is a promise. That is a promise. I swear to God, we've been getting those the last two times. We've gotten crabs or bees. It's one of the two. You would think, right? That, that, that you know, you're playing on the same save. It won't repeat events, but it does. It does repeat. <laughs> like that's dumb. It shouldn't. But Chip, the crash would be funny. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm gonna like... When that happens, oh, I'm just gonna mute the word crabs in chat. <laughs> like everyone that types in crabs is getting banned. <laughs> uh, but yeah. What time is it? Oh, we can chat for a few more minutes. And then we can play the game. We're going for crabless percentage. <laughs> New speedrun category! Let's go! I'm immediately winning. Immediately. Like, without even trying. <laughs> no, you can't cheat the system like that. No. You can't just put crap, like, spaces in between crap. No, you can't put a dot either. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> oh, but, uh... I, mean, I keep thinking I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. I think I figured out why my model is breaking so much like one, two streams ago. I think it's simply because my hard disk was like fucking fill filled to the brim for some reason. <laughs> and what was it? Not hard disk. What am I saying? It's the, um, the drive, like one of the drivers. I think it was like nearly full I, I don't know if that would have had an impact on it but maybe Chris Bain says is a world without crabs sad no crabs free world humph 
Less competition for apex predators like me. More room to rule. Let the crabs be sad. Chip reigns supreme. <laughs> what? I, a crab's apex predators? I didn't know that. What? <laughs> Less competition. That is funny. <laughs> What's in the hard drive ship? Oh, don't worry about it. It's my, uh, my, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it was, uh, like, uh, some games that I wasn't playing anymore. They were really large. I just, uh, kicked them off my PC. Um, but the thing that took up the most space, which I completely forgot about, was all my stream recordings. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, but if you have a folder with, like, four-hour videos, it fills up really quickly. <laughs> it's, uh, there were, like... 20 four hour videos in there. They, they were taking up like half my drive. <laughs> I was already so confused. Like, what the hell is taking up so much space? And then I ran a program to see like where it was, where all the space is going, and I'm like, oh, it's in the it's in the VODs folder. Oh, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> like I completely forgot about it. So yeah, now half my drive is empty again. <laughs> That's crazy. And then my drive's got like quite a lot of space. It's got like... Like nearly two terabytes. <laughs> I pretty much have one terabyte of videos of streams saved in my folder. Like that is insane. <laughs> Finally, my PC can breathe a little bit. It's like, oh my god, that's a load on my shoulders, quite literally. <laughs> one chip a bite. <laughs> Every stream is one chip a bite. Uh, that'll be like 20 chip a bite, which equals to one terabyte. Obviously, don't you know your bites? <laughs> Yo, that's pretty funny, actually. Bite the chip. Chip a bite, you know? It's, you, you get it? Um, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna, just gonna drop it. Um, <laughs> chip it. <laughs> <clears throat> we need a dedicated server for VODs. Yeah, that's what the YouTube's for. <laughs> Just put throw them on there. <laughs> I mean, because, like, I would not be able to save them anywhere else, actually. Like, there, I wouldn't have enough space anywhere. <laughs> not even on a Google Drive or something. Have a YouTube. Mm -mm -mm. Store all the VODs inside Chip and then he can play them like a projector. <laughs> That's so funny. I just imagine uh, the projector bit being on his back, so he doesn't even get to look at the at the streams. Like he's he's just facing away from it. And he's like, yeah, I'm sure you guys are enjoying the watching the stream. You know, good, I guess. Hope you're enjoying that popcorn. You know, I didn't I didn't want to watch anyway. <laughs> That's so mean. That was so funny. <laughs> Chip would just delete them out of sight. Sephiria would... says, what is your animal fact of the day, Chip? Something about animal crabs? fact? Here's one. I'm not your average pet. I'm the top dog. I mean, robot. Animal enough for you? He the top dog. Is that what he said? Top dog. <laughs> he the top dog. Mm-mm. <laughs> He's not your average pet. Mm-mm. I mean, what? Why would you think about other animals when you've got Chip right here? He's as feral as they come. <laughs> yeah, he got that dog in him. <laughs> got that dog. I hate that. Chip, please take the dog out of you. Like, come on. You look like a cat. Don't don't say you're the top dog. Say you're the top cat. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that the slogan for mug root beer? Chip, I didn't know you liked root beer. <laughs> he manufactured different for real, real. No, no, no. I know. I, I can't imagine Chip liking dogs in any way, honestly. Mm -mm. Nah, he's not a dog person at all. He's gotta be a cat person. Like, the, how, how, why is he saying top dog? I'm so out of character. <laughs> My immersion ruined. No, I'm joking. Chip is Chip. 
I'm not gonna question what he says. It's always unhinged. Like, I'm not. I shouldn't even be surprised anymore at this point. <laughs> Chip, that is a metal sphere. <laughs> what cat have you seen that look like Chip to you? Okay, well, first of all, oh my. Chip's got cat ears. Will you look at that. Cat ears. Tail. Pretty much a cat. Okay, pretty much a cat. <laughs> Chip breaking our immersion is in character though. It is. It actually is. You're right. <laughs> yeah, he's like that, like. But not even breaking character. Like he's he's just in character. Breaking char like no not oh I'm getting confused now. Breaking immersion, breaking character. No, no, he never breaks character. Like his character's just being a dick. <laughs> And I think it does a really good job at it. It's really funny. I've mentioned this before, but he's the perfect counterpart to my stream. He's perfect. Like y'all know, I'm very nice, very sweet. <laughs> and uh, Chip is, uh, well, not. He's not. He, he's perfect. He's perfect the way he is. His annoying... Uh, bitch self. That, yep, that's him. That's him. <laughs> Do you know who else is a cat girl? Look at the mirror! Not me! No! What? Drisbane says, while you are on the top, do you like dogs or cats more? Who needs pets when you have chip? But if I must choose, I'd say cats. Independent, sly, just like yours truly. Who can resist that mysterious allure? <laughs> I see! I told you guys! He is! cat person he's a cat person yes i knew it i knew it <laughs> oh thank you so much for the bits by the way um oh that's perfect chip you have redeemed yourself you have redeemed yourself <laughs> what is it independent slide like in a dark truly. person uh, no shut up no cutting that out i'm cutting that out the vod mm -mm. <laughs> what else is a cat girl? No, Chi Mama is shit. Chi Mama, you mean the artist? Like Chi. That's true. She is a cat girl. What the hell happened? <laughs> Why do you always redeem that? When I look away, I look back, and it's it's a jump scare. It's a jump scare. I. <laughs> Like, when I least expect it! <laughs> yes, Chi Mama is car girl. Car girl. That'd be actually kind of cursed. Car girl. It reminds me of that one, um... Clip I saw of an anime where a girl just turns into a car. Like, drinking gasoline. Or something. That's really weird. Oh my god! Ah, no. <laughs> I look so sh... Scared? I like guinea Shock? pigs and capybaras and hamsters and mouse and squeak Shared. and other squeaks. Huh? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Guinea pigs, capybaras. No, he doesn't like that. You're making him say weird things. Stop that. Stop. No. <laughs> I'm on phone. My PC to turn off itself. <laughs> it couldn't handle their pace. Probably it, you know. <laughs> it was like, oh, I got this off the screen. No, and then again, and it was gone. It was gone. <laughs> anyway, what's the time now? Oh my god, already ten minutes. But okay, okay. I thought, oh, we only been talking for a few minutes since I last checked the time, but it's already been ten. Okay. A good thing I already have the game set up here. We're just gonna start with... We're just gonna continue with the previous one. <laughs> There's too much power. It's actually too much. Oh, talking about the derp face, actually, before I launched the game. I did eventually leave on the timer for the derp face because I think it wasn't causing the issues I was having last time. So, um... Yeah, cool. You know, so it should go off, like, after... Five minutes exactly on a dot, so nobody um, can complain now. <laughs> yeah, it should. It should. I think it worked when I tested it. It 
it should. <laughs> so like I said, nobody gets to complain about, oh, you didn't have it for five minutes. No, it's on the dot. On the dot. <laughs> All right, it's using power. It's gonna be the best rain. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Never know what to expect here. All right, got the game here. Let's switch on over. Here we go. Um. All right, I still had the game muted. Let me unmute that. Um. Where is it? There we go. Ah. Uh -huh. Look at that. These were the other houses. <laughs> we are continue with, continuing with House of Chip. <laughs> you don't get to tell us what we can complain about. Mm, yeah, I do. No. Unless. There you go. Let's get back in the game. I'm gonna move myself over here. I, I, I'm, I'm the queen now. I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, since this is a continuation, you will probably already be in one of these factions. Um, you know, you just automatically get put in the same one, so... But if you're new and you've never joined, you can check the pinned message in the chat. It says how to join. So, uh, yeah. I love this music. I I, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Forgot to put put pronouns. Oops. I mean, by default, it just uses they them. So, uh, you know, it's alright. And uh, don't forget, you can just join uh, during the game. So, um, yeah, yeah, like uh, that. That's it. You know, you could just join during the game. You don't have to join now. I can already start the game and uh, it just already, uh, yeah, I might actually. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, the same three ones. It's always the same, isn't it? Oh, uh, I, I. <laughs> No, I'm so scared of the coronation. Y'all always keep fucking up my coronation. Like last time, that was quite literally the reason they killed me, bro. That, that was actually the reason they killed me. It's not even funny. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate you guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, then what? My coronation. All right. <laughs> the river. Now, last time, we did um. Mm, what was it? It was very weird. It was a very late, boring event. <laughs> and everybody hated it. Yeah, okay. Let's get it over with. Let's see what awful decision they'll make this time. <laughs> Alright, and here are the options. Hold a pagan snort in ceremony. Invite foreign dignitaries and show off our wealth. Throw the monarch into a river. Classic. Outdated conditions. There's no need for coronation at all. <gasps> what? That's a first. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I could get rid of a vote, but you know what? Fuck it. All right, you get the vote now. Let's go. This chiefs. Is that? Is that the chiefs one? No, I would think that the, the A is that, right? Like a pagan northern ceremony. Oh, well, I don't know. Honestly? Honestly? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with D. Let's go. It's both because of she's the chiefs, probably. Makes sense. Oh my god, I'm trying to grab some tissues, but it just keeps ripping when I grab them. So annoying. Alright, out of traditions. No need for coronation at all. This is a first, and I am happy. I am happy. It's decided there will be no coronation. How much do you want to bet people are going to kill me for this? <laughs> Would have been a waste of time and money anyway. Exactly. Uh-huh. The lack of a coronation bewilders the common folk, most of whom won't see your name or face until the new coins are minted. Nah, but that's okay, because then they, they... They can't hate me, because they don't even know what I look like. <laughs> you know, they don't they don't have to, a face to put to... Uh, all the bad decisions that get made in this country by me. 
Um, but yeah, all right. Council introduction. I'm already plotting. Honestly, you would have been. You would have done that anyway. You did it. You seized the throne. We showed him what chiefs could do, didn't we? Look, Sai, it's you. And just remember which side of your bread is buttered. You answer to us. Got it? Mm-hmm. Long live the North. I like you guys. You look cool. Ha! That was the spirit. Now introduce yourself to the rest of the council, but don't forget what I told you today. Mm, I won't. Um, Towns of the East. Hello. Oh, it's Piggy. Hi. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your race. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. They say this every generation. <laughs> <laughs> A pleasure, your august majesty. It's just rain! I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. That introductions are done. <laughs> Crabs, leave! Get out! Get out! <laughs> oh, it's you, sir. What do you think? Will they be a good little monarch and do as they're told? Too early to tell. We should have a backup plan just in case. Man, why? Why, bro? I I'm gonna be good! I'm gonna be good! I, I love the cheese. I love the cheese. <laughs> I'd never do anything bad. Trust. Your Majesty, the history books do not look kindly upon usurpers. Unless, of course, they have proved themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. And I, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Okay, let's actually try and pick one that, you know, will make my life easier. <laughs> <laughs> because every like last game this went absolutely horrible this was disastrous i like i i had the worst fucking stats i i never even had a chance <laughs> go for stability i don't know um here look i'm looking at the stats farming the military is really good honestly but thing about military is the counts do not have military <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, uh, I mean, like I could. The nine and nine would probably make up for the low number the count has, but farming would actually be higher, right? In total, right? Or am I counting this wrong? Nah, it would be higher, yeah. Farming would technically be higher. The Chiefs have the best stats in total. I like that. Hell yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not counting these things wrong. Right? I'm pretty sure farming's got right. I might be wrong. I don't have, I'm not pulling up a calculator for this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with farming. Haven't I already picked that before, though? Uh, yeah, it's high by one. Just barely. But I, I swear, like, I've already picked farming ones so mm. and last time did i pick military I picked faith last time yeah but the one before that i think i picked farming yeah okay, i'm actually not i'm not doing faith or defiance so yeah like those two are very low defiance is not even an option actually um stability is kind of low uh yeah i think i'm just gonna do farming again after the last game, I gotta make it easy now. <laughs> are you concerned for the welfare of the commoners? Or are you just hoping for a favorable passage in the history books? Honestly? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of want to be a ruler that, you know, doesn't get killed or hated in one year. So, yes. Yes. Chip care? Lo don't laugh. No. <laughs> no, I'll be a good ruler. Like, I may look... Uh, it may look, you know, strict and, uh, you know, cool, but... Or stoic, that's the word. I may look strict and stoic, but but I've got the people's best interests at heart. AKA, I don't want them to kill me, so I'm gonna feed the people and then they'll be happy with me. They'll be happy with me. <laughs> and let's actually try and get a child this Space time, Excellent please. Local underscore says, is she a good ruler? Yes, I am. Shiv is a ruler? More like a chaos creator. She rules hearts with kindness. But let's be real. I'm the one steering this ship. Long live the mischievous. Oh, you saying? <laughs> well, I, I mean, he kind of said I was a ruler. Kind of? Close enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gonna drink some water. Hmm. <laughs> 
creator of chaos. Emmanuel of the pro-David 69 dynasty, notorious reformed cultist. Cultist? Leans delicately on a podium, whispering carefully. <clears throat> My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false monarch Harley wears the crown. Ah. Oh, what are you guys gonna do now? Doppelganger, uprising, or ascension? Ascension again? No, surely not, right? <laughs> Oh my god, you're right! I completely forgot to show the overlay. Well, I mean, somebody needs to vote though. But uh, in the meantime, I'll turn on the overlay. Maybe that's the thing I was forgetting the entire time. Let's see. Overlay, overlay. There it is. It should just turn on automatically. I completely forgot. There we go. Should work now. Um, refresh the page if you don't see it. Mm mm. Alright, uprising it is, a vote of one. I mean, it's pretty cool. You got to decide, and uh, you got to decide on this all by yourself. <laughs> uprising, raise treasury. The counts plan to incite a peasant uprising to overthrow the monarch before swooping in to steal the throne for themselves. You want me to sit here? I'm gonna switch back and forth, all right? And I already turned on the overlay. If you don't see it, you have to refresh the page. But I'm gonna switch back and forth, okay? Like for now... I am reading. So I'm on the left. I am doing the shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> oh god, it would have been so easy. Oh well. You are to blame. You were the only vote. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. For me, it's not working. Are you on phone? It doesn't work on phone. It only works on uh, PC and desktop. Alright, raise your treasury to 2,000 or more. Well, this is, this is fucking easy as well. You've already got that. <laughs> Alright. Ragnar of the Scythe area clan. Sinister Northern God speaker. What the hell? That's a cool title. Stands precariously on the longhouse crossbeam, spitting as they speak. Oh. Yo, Star, what's up? Hi! Hi! Join the game. <laughs> Morgana is with us. Harley now sits on the throne and the chiefs are in charge. But the other regions will already be scheming to depose of them. Do we stay loyal to the new monarch or cut our losses and put me on the throne instead? You may have a cool title, but... But I'm 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 the ruler here. Y'all put me on the throne. Don't usurp me immediately, please. <laughs> I'm like, oh, give me a chance, bro. I'll give you good food. I'm focusing on farming. You get, you get to get the best food. I'm surprised y'all actually picked a. I'm so surprised. I'm, <laughs> I'm touched. I'm touched. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect you guys to actually pick that. That's crazy. That's it. Oh. Be loyal as fuck. Finally, someone helping me in this game. <laughs> it's about like, yay! <laughs> Maybe I can finally get an air, bro. I, I really want to get an air. I haven't gotten that a single time. I'm pretty sure. And like in all the games I've played, I don't think I've gotten it a single time. That solves it then. Long live the monarch. May they bring glory to Morgana. Oh, did I get one? Well, it wasn't in this game. It was in a different one, yeah? But we can always change our minds. Uh, if Harley ever gets out of line, we can take up arms and get rid of them the old-fashioned way. No. All right. They will win if the game the game if the monarch produces an heir. At least their ambition. However, the fines gets too high, they can still change their minds. No. <laughs> oh, pick! You gotta leave. Oh, there goes the only vote from from the counts. <laughs> anyway, bald! Oh, uh, anyway. Lovey of the Dursmain family, charismatic coastal rapscallion, scribbles with a well used quill on a hardwood desk, speaking calmly. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Monarch Harley. 
Something must be done. What are you voting for? I <laughs> oh, yes, the breed maxers. I mean, it's a monarchy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm late. No, well, you can still join. System it's says I. Newt 0629 has resubbed for 26 months with message. Well, it's been a while. Let's make it more. Yes, so Welcome long. Welcome back, Newt. Looks like you've been lurking in the shadows. More months, more chaos. The Chip and Shiv show is here to entertain. So buckle up. <laughs> buckle up, buckle up. Wow, that's the first time I've heard him happy. Yeah, thank you so much for the resub. And I think I completely forgot to say thank you to Piggy for the resub earlier. I hope you still caught that before you left. Um, <laughs> Subterfuge, lower stability. What does that even mean, subterfuge? Isn't that like a, a thing to shake liquid? Please don't shake me. Do not shake the ship. It might be something else, actually. I don't know. <laughs> What's the thing I'm thinking of? What's it called? Subterfuge is a rebellion, but sneaky. What was the other thing called? Centrifuge. <laughs> it's a centrifuge. That's it. <laughs> it's almost the same. Petitions plan to replace the monarch's advisors with their own agents. First, you gotta prove they're doing a bad job. Mm -mm, not gonna work. My advisors are amazing. You know, they're the chiefs after all. Mm hmm. The boss. Mm hmm. Lower stability to four or less in three seasons. All right, here are the, the schemes again. Take a look at them. Remember them. Write them down. I don't know. But like two of you, like, you already got it. Hmm. Let's go! Thank you for the follow! Thank you! <clears throat> Membership, the chiefs are your only friends. Of course, of course. Yeah. I don't need other friends besides the chiefs. Obviously. Obviously! <laughs> okay, um... I need that one. Ability's always handy. Wait, so the count's thing is to just make the kingdom rich. Um, is it? Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think they have to raise it to show to the people of this kingdom that... Oh, look at the rulers. They, they are hoarding all the money. Which means they're bad at their job because they're not giving it to the people. You know, like, it's kind of like that, right? Yeah, but... It'll update once you uh, finish that. Oh my god. Is she wedding? What is that? No crabs again. <laughs> Your Majesty, the Archduke of Saul has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. Your attendance would help shore up relations between our two great nations. It's, no, it's nothing to do with the crabs. No, it's a wedding. 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 <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my god. You look sick. What the hell? Depths below, great nation, the Isle of Saul is nothing more than a nest of pirates and cutthroats. Damn. And I heard it isn't a proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish. <laughs> at least it's not a... At least it's not crab, you know. <laughs> the groom is a fin folk, one of the denizens of the sea. Perfectly sapient and actually amphibious. Whoa, whoa, wait, you got mermaids in this fucking game? You got mermaids? Or, well, fin folk, mermaids, yeah, what? That's cool. Well, the church doesn't agree with a man marrying a fish. No, no, mermaid. Um, it's not an actual fish, right? <laughs> we mustn't legitimize this farce by allowing the monarch to attend. No, I want to see it. I'm in I'm interested. I want to see it. Racism, <laughs> actually, bro. F fish racism. Nah, okay, I'm gonna veto this one because I I don't want to condemn it. That's fucked up. I wouldn't do that. Ah, uh, wait, no, I should be on this side. Marrying a fish would be crazy. I mean, it depends. Like, well, what does a fish look like? <laughs> Is it like a literal fish? 
Or is it like they're saying a thin folk, like actually more human, like in appearance, you know, like a mermaid? Especially coming out of some fish races, how dare you? They are just as, uh, well, not human. They're just, uh, they, they, they've got, uh, they're, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we'll tend. let's go. Sorry, Faith. I mean, the Faith's already like rock bottom anyway, so like, look at this. Look at this Faith. It's zero, zero, three. And it's no loss. <laughs> <clears throat> Excellent. The wedding is scheduled for next year. I'll inform the Archduke that you shall be delighted to attend next year. Hmm. This kingdom is sliding into madness. Le next year! When it's announced that you will attend the wedding, the patricians are naturally scandalized. But the peasants, sentimental as ever, are in favor of your decision. Public opinion turns against the overly strict church. Ah, oh, that church is fucked. Nobody believes in it anymore. Anyway, the honor guard. Okay. Oh, what? Good news, your majesty. I have received a vision. I saw you based in holy light. Blades and missiles crumbling to dust before they could reach you. And that's a... That, that sounds like a good sign. You do not need to recruit an honor guard. The ninth god will shield you from all harm. Mm, mm, I mean, that's... Uh, I mean... <laughs> there's quite a vision, isn't it? But... <laughs> I've never seen the ninth protect someone from a sword to the chest. You need the guard. Please don't be stupid. Okay, no. I I I was gonna go with um the Northern Warriors, but okay, Chiefs. Do you want me to go without a guard? <laughs> that seems like a really bad decision. But if it works out, it'd be so good. But I I don't know. I mean, should I trust the church? That faith is so low. I mean, maybe I should just get a guard. Do a chicken. What the. Fuck you. Are you even a chief? Are you? How do I check the chiefs again? Don't I just hover over this? Oh no, wait, here. You're not even the chief! You're lying. I'm gonna go with the uh, Northern Warriors. We're trying to keep you alive! Get a guard! Okay, okay! Although they don't have discipline, but look at them. They're honorable and unbeatable. Yeah, I'll, I'm picking them. I'm picking them. I don't know if I've ever picked the Northern Warriors. <laughs> Really honor guard. <laughs> no, no, no. Northern warriors. Foolishness. Do you not trust in the protection of the ninth? This kingdom grows more faithless by the day. Look at faith. It's even lower. How did it lower by two in one turn? <laughs> that shit's gonna hit zero. <laughs> this, this something bad happen if it, it all hits zero. Like, well, I just lose. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Look at them. They got swagger. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Oof, get screwed, church. Honestly, they haven't helped me these last few games, so no losses. No losses. <laughs> the chat is your bodyguard. Protect me! <clears throat> your majesty, I have an idea. The best since lined parchment, I dare say. <gasps> oh, another expedition! Oh, well, we've already done that before. Mm, should we do it again? Do we send people to, to cheer again? We've already done this. Previous one. Sounds churlish. Don't be so quick to judge. I implore you to great unexplored and untamed wilderness awaits. You have a lot of wealth at the moment, your highness. It's just sitting around collecting dust. <gasps> You're right, you know, I actually need to get rid of some some of that treasury. You're right. You're right. Fuck you, Count. I am lowering the treasury. <laughs> yes, all right. Let's do it. We did this and got rich. True. True. Okay. Now we got to figure out who we're sending. Who did we send last time? <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to lower the treasury, guys. I think we're going to lower the treasury. <laughs> oh, look, guys. It's the auction. Um, here you go. Uh, I mean, I can't not cover something here. You're just gonna have to deal with it. 
Here, take a look at these. Uh, it, uh, there, can you see it? Do you see all of it? And, and, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over here and you can look at that. Okay, start auction. I hope you saw enough because uh, I don't feel like moving again. <laughs> look at my wealth. What the? You've got more wealth than the treasury. That's crazy. Well, at least uh, you're supporting me, right? You're you're a chief, so it's all good. <laughs> the second riches um you just built different <laughs> now but we're continuing from the previous game so you kept all your money lucky you <laughs> damn I'm going all in i mean the top two fundest buildings will be built so you don't really need to uh invest anymore i mean if you want to you can you know if you want to brag about your money you can do that have to make a bad financial decisions. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there is me! Oh my goodness, it was already gonna get funded! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at Axolotl having five will. What's happened? Space Axolotl. <laughs> Alright, we've got the prison and the library for... Okay. <laughs> Nothing changes. Very cool. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> spouse! I want to get a spouse. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's just a women then. Fuck it, fuck it. I want to see a buff chief lady. Come on, let me... Give me a buff... Buff warrior woman. From... The, the Chiefs of the North, please. <laughs> Alright, anyway, um, before that, Island Rises. Every time I see this picture, I just get flashbacks to the crabs. I, I honestly, I'm traumatized. <laughs> your esteemed highness, your esteemed highness, something most strange has occurred in the Ghost Sea. A new island has risen, halfway between our shores and the Isle of Saul. And folk raise it from the depths using their weird ocean magic. <laughs> their weird magic. <laughs> it's true, your majesty. The Finn folk raised the island to celebrate the marriage of their prince to the Archduke of Saul. <gasps> Look, it's a good thing. I'm joining the wedding. Let's go. They will gift it to him on the day of the ceremony? A gifting a whole ass island. Uh-oh. This is terrible news. That island is of immense strategic importance. We can't let it fall into Salish hands. Ooh, okay, so... Like, it's cool, but we don't want them to have it. <laughs> Pay a wizard to sink it back into the sea. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I do... I kind of want to keep the island. I don't want to sink it back in. <laughs> Funny. Um, I should have got any of these. Let's see. Um, <laughs> the last one is funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I want to lower treasury, but we're gonna spend it on chur anyway. Like, it's too much. No, we're not gonna sink the island. I am redoing that. The other ones are all right. No, like, I mean, yeah, they're all right. But Nazi, I want to keep the island. Then maybe it'll give us a cool event later. Mm -hmm. I do like the last one. <laughs> no. Okay, I had a feeling. Send the monarch to seduce the Finn folk prince. <laughs> if you want to bang a fish. <laughs> no, it's not a fish, guys. It's, it's Finn folk. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I I'm, I'm gonna marry a fish. I'm gonna <laughs> Top half is fish. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Capital idea. <laughs> what? No way. You want me to sleep with the fishes? I've always found the fin folk appealing. <laughs> Oh, 
Did I make it awkward? A silence falls over the council. The nobles glance at each other, laughing and uh, adjusting their colors. My buff chief wife. And I guess now I'll just have a, a fish. <laughs> Give the feedback. Shut up. <laughs> well, you're unattached, and you'd make a far better match for this finfolk prince than the archduke of some rainy little island. What's the harm? <laughs> Very well. I'll seduce the sexy, sexy fish. <laughs> Nate it's late, it's too late. Nine says, we need Meep here. We need his approval. <laughs> we don't, Who we don't, it's Meep's fine. approval. I'm the star here. <laughs> Chip's the main event. The true showstopper. No need for extra opinions in this grand spectacle. I'm sure he'll give... I'll, I'm sure I, I'd get the approval for this. So I'm sure. <laughs> we all admire your sacrifice, your August majesty. <laughs> sacrifice? Oh, I'm doing this at my own free will. <laughs> <clears throat> That's so funny. I love that. Ah! Preparations begin for your clandestine visit to one of the Finfolk's undersea villages. Your Chancellor has heard of magic reeds that allow the bear to breathe underwater, but such a thing will take weeks to track down. Lisa gives you time to prepare for your underwater visit and to buy some waterproof roses. I'm gonna fuck a fish. I mean, what? Anyway, expedition to Chur. Your Majesty. <laughs> I have those plans we discussed for the expedition to Chur. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Mm -hmm. No, that poor fish. Not actual fish, guys. It's a finfolk, all right? Finfolk. It's like merfolk. It's like a mermaid. <clears throat> okay, we still need to figure out who we're gonna send. Oh, wait, who has the honor filling in your ship? Never mind, okay. I do kind of feel like I have to go with the chief's ship again. Ferocious long ship to cross the sea. Well built, but not much room on board. Christian's got a mighty galleon. Pricey but unmatched in quality. And the counts. <laughs> the counts have promised a beautiful and ostentatious design, a carrick, but also expensive. I mean, just based on this, this chief's ship sounds <laughs> the best. So I'm gonna pick that again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um choose one for me. No, no. Oh my god, these two are so expensive. <laughs> we have to save money for the people we're gonna send on the ship. Mighty long ship. Very good, your majesty. Next, we must decide who will crew your ship. There won't be much room on the long ship for anyone but the sailors themselves, so we must pick carefully. <laughs> Don't worry, ship. We won't judge you. Everyone has preferences. No, 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 guys. I'm doing it for the bit. I'm, it's for the bit, okay? <laughs> it's... Chief ship strong. Many fish women like our boats. Oh, perfect. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm gonna spend money, all right? Just give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, look, look. These ones are, also cost money. So... Oh, those in the Navy. <clears throat> Amateur peasant crews. Prisoners. This is where all the money is gonna go, actually. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Counts, but I want that experienced crew. This one's funny, though. Aha! What the? Uh, it's... Oh my god, I still need to lower it more? <laughs> Fantastic. I think that's everything. I shall get to work immediately, Your Majesty. Look, it's perfect. Money! 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 We need to spend more money! It's still too high. Chiefs are eager to impress. They finished this chip super quickly. Let's go. The crew are eager and the ship looks sturdy. You can only hope they bring back something worth the investment or come back at all. <laughs> Time for that fussy. Shut up! This, no, it's not for that. This is different. This is to explore chur. Not, not to fuck fishes. What the hell? Oh. 
Why are people mad? What the? Across the kingdom, discontent with the monarch is rising. Everyone knew they were better off, but until now, it hadn't occurred to most people just how much better off. Oh, damn it! Already? Now the peasants are asking all sorts of troublesome questions about their benevolent overlord. As everyone knows, once a question has been asked, it can be unasked. Yeah, I was too late. That's kind of fucked up. I should have bought a more expensive ship. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> anyway, we meanwhile perch atop a hill in the remote eastern wilderness that sits a dark, austere castle. At the top of the tallest tower, Count... Hunt... <laughs> no, Count Pro David <laughs> and their co-conspirators can be found celebrating with a few glasses of wine. Yeah, celebrate while you can. What is this symbol you've got here? Never seen that before, I think. Maybe I'm imagining things. The lowborn are getting rowdy, and it's all thanks to us. Now that they know how much wealth the monarch's hiding, they're itching to get rid of them. Careful we don't get them too riled up, mind you, or they'll start asking questions about our wealth as well. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Now it's time to set some real chaos. Show him that the monarch Harley is not only greedy, but incompetent too. What have I done to you? Lower stability to four or less? Wait, but that means that two of you got a lower stability. Oh no. <laughs> Who is Harley? I think that's my character's name. I think that's the king's name, yeah. All right. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spent the money to prevent that, and now, now, you, like, th that's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> okay, now I, I need to bribe you guys because your defines is kind of high. Mm. Yeah, and Chiefs get the common text. That's good. Uh, maybe it should be normal. How high does the defines need to be for a rebellion? Oh, no, wait, I think it needs to be higher than. Either authority or the or stability. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get fucking trying to get me off the throne. And rob you blind. <laughs> Finfolk! Let's go! I mean, what? I'm not excited. <laughs> <clears throat> Above authority? Uh oh. Um, anyway. The Finfolk, the Finfolk sent a stagecoach made from a giant clam pulled by seahorses. What is this sick? You equip your magic breathing reed and hop inside. The clam carriage plunges back beneath the waves and you are whisked down into the murky depths. A few hours later, you arrive at an undersea citadel of kelp woven huts. What is this sick? Please tell me the prince is hot. <laughs> Please. The prince meets you at a grand table formed of knotted coral. Tiny finfolk spawnlings swim around your legs as you sit. Could have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the character from Zelda. It's like that one guy. I don't know his name, but a different color, right? No, it's not jellyfish. Like, look, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, right? Smash. <laughs> <clears throat> Greetings, your majesty. We are honored to have such a prestigious visitor. It's cold and wet. Nah, this place is amazing. A very nice view. <laughs> a whale passes overhead, momentarily dousing you in shadow. We're here to discuss my betrothal to Archduke Shomo and the island I'm giving him as a dowry. More like fine folk, am I right? A woo guy! <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> Whoops, I just dropped a big bag of pearls. Could you pick them up for me? <laughs> I know that's like bribery, but it sounds flirty. Like. <laughs> like he's gonna pick him up in, all, in a sexy type of way or something. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I had to flip that. Okay. Um. What do we do then? 
<laughs> I can't do that. I can't do fine folk. He's gonna he's gonna be mad. <laughs> Maybe I'll be nice first. Okay, first of all, I must offer my congratulations. Uh, I don't know if that's good actually. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna make him bend over for the pearls. Oh, let me allow some message. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be civil. I'll, I gotta be civil. Thank you. I like most of my kind. I believe that fin folk and surface folk must get along. This wedding is the first step in that, in that process. <laughs> <laughs> Still the same options. Oh my god. Maybe I should give some money. Um. Ugh. I gotta be nice. The Awuga is a. Awuga! No. May I offer these pearls as tribute? <clears throat> Thank you, most generous. Ah, more like fine folk, am I right? <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. No, no, not yet, not yet! May I ask, why do you have to give him a dowry? Well, it's a very small island. The Archduke assured me it wasn't worth very much. After all, you're, you, you surface folk have so much land already. <laughs> oh, I return. Oh my god, hot fish person. I know, right? I'm trying to flirt with him, but it's hard. Actually, the island's worth a huge amount to us. Oh, really? Hmm. How interesting. The Archduke told me differently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but that choice, the fact it's there every single time. More like fine folk, am I right? Okay, no, it's so tempting. So tempting. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. A wooga! Ice pops out like <laughs> No! No, I'm gonna fuck it up if I pick that. Oh, I'm trying to be normal. Please just trust me. Why would I lie? I wish I could doubt you, but... You seem trustworthy enough. Which means my betrothed has misled me. <gasps> About the importance of this island. Such deceit. He's not the man I taught him to be. <laughs> Perfect! Oh, I will have to call out the wedding. Thank you for clarifying things for me, your majesty. Why? Why should I go so soon? <laughs> Let's have a drink! <laughs> the thin folk prince offers you bitter seaweed beer, which you imbibe through a complex underwater drinking mechanism. Ah! I'm gonna... Oh my god, guys. I can't believe I'm actually gonna fuck the fish. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. For hours, you and he swap stories. And commiserate over the hardships of loyalty. <laughs> oh, let's go. It's going perfectly. <laughs> Sorry. As the night draws on, you find yourself and the prince growing closer and closer. A touch to the knee, a stroke of the gills. Did you take things further? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> Going insane. <laughs> Draw the fin folk prints in for a ah! I can't believe we did it. I cannot believe ah! you spent a pleasurable night with the fin folk prints atop a bed of woven kelp. It'll be a night you remember for a long time. But it's over far too quickly. Proposed to marry the fin folk prints. <laughs> when you drop to one knee, the finful prince made the, makes a startled noise that sounds like a frog throwing up a set of bagpipes. You, you cannot be serious. This is so fast. You don't even know my name. What's your name? My name is Glor. <laughs> I've only just decided to end my betrothal to the Archduke. You would have me move on 
so quickly? The Lorb leans in closer. We're destined to be together. <laughs> This is so good. But what about your vindictive nobles and your hidebound priests? Your kingdom is less accepting of my kind than the Isle of Saul. <laughs> they are invited to kiss the royal behind. <laughs> Stop worrying, just say yes. Love can overcome any hurdle. Oh, all these answers are so good. Like, they're so corny, all of them. <laughs> um. <laughs> Love can overcome any hurdle. Oh, but I'm really tempted. Oh, oh fuck. They are invited to kiss the royal behind. Ha! With a gentle smile, Glorp grabs you by the hand. Zero crowned yes! says, ha. Confused, Zero crowned? Don't worry, it happens when I'm around. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the chip show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, a thousand times yes. In fact, why wait? Let's get married right now. <laughs> we can formalize things in your cathedral later. But how many of your kind can boast of having an underwater wedding? The prince rushes about the village, organizing an impromptu ceremony. Before you know it, you're swimming down the aisle, a manta ray draped around your shoulders like a cloak. Cha! Oh, beautiful. Do you take me as your husband, Glorp? Do you even have to ask? I do. <laughs> Glorp draws you into a passionate kiss, with the watching villagers cheer, filling the coral church with bubbles. And, we, and so we are married in the eyes of the deep queen. I suppose we must journey to the surface and marry in the eyes of your ninth god as well. I'm so looking forward to meeting your courtier, courtiers, cour whatever. <laughs> Can't wait to see the looks on their faces. <clears throat> and it's gonna be very happy looks, of course. <laughs> no option to decline. Why would I? Oh dear, I hope they will come to accept me as one of their own, of course. The next day, after a wonderful wedding night, you and your new husband travel back to the surface in a clamshell carriage. How did it- Oh, ninth above! You brought the finful prince back with you! Chancellor turns a faint shade of red at the sight of your handsome, glistening husband. Indeed, good Chancellor. We are married now. Ah! <clears throat> I see. Well, may I be the first to congratulate you, your majesty, but the church will not be happy when they find out. <laughs> well, I don't care. I've got my fish husband, and I'm, I'm happy. Oh no, the eligible options are... <laughs> well, I spent weeks finding some suitable matches for you, your majesty, but I suppose, given the circumstances, I wasted my time. <laughs> You have. Yes, you have. <laughs> that is so funny. Nobody cares about the church. The kingdom is like two faith anyways. Exactly. Exactly. What are they going to do? Oh, hello, church. Um, Awkward. Your Majesty, I wish to speak with you about the situation in the East. The counts have long been a matter of suspicion for those of us in the church. But now, idolatry and devil worship are commonplace across the whole region. Allow me to send some of my best missionaries to the east. For the good of the realm. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. I will make preparations right away. I hope this goes well. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, not too good, but... Uh... <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> uh, I was hoping stability would go up. I mean, but it didn't go down either. So that's good. 
But still, the Archbishop hopes that their preachings might have laid the groundwork for, for future attempts. Okay, well, there's, it's fine. You know, I, I only got bad things from that. Well, all right, that was a very eventful season. <laughs> this is great. Deep in the back rooms of the royal palace, the northern chiefs are poring over secret letters and scribbled diagrams. On the wall is a corv board filled with pins and crisscrossed by colored, colored string. <clears throat> the monarch didn't marry, but at least they married someone. <laughs> now they just need to get on with finding an heir. I the clock is ticking. Am I gonna get a fish baby? Peasants have been more agitated than usual recently. Someone's been filling their heads with fanciful tales about the monarch's massive treasury. I bet money on it being the Count's doing. I do need to fuck the fish, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, but, 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 but both men, how would that work? Do we adopt the fish baby? <laughs> and we've got to keep up our efforts. Monarch Harley isn't going anywhere on our watch. <laughs> Dog! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, he is, sir. We're gonna have to fuck the fish. Will the fish chai be able to breathe in the water? <laughs> Hopefully! <laughs> Will they be able to breathe above water? Who knows? <laughs> the chiefs must continue to aid the monarch by countering the other region's schemes. You win the game if I produce an heir and complete my ambition. a few miles from the sunny coast, noble patrician Space Exolotl has invited their closest confidants aboard their yacht. Man, and y'all call me rich? Look at y'all, you've got a yacht! Is that how Atlantis started? Yes. Yes, it has. The kingdom's fine. No one's calling for the monarch's advisors to resign. We need to step it up. More chaos, more, more panic. And we can swoop in and offer the monarch an olive branch. Indeed, and if they don't want to take it, we'll smack them with it until they give in. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Do not lower any more, please. Please! Mm. I'll just leave at the same time. Okay, no, I do want to pick one of these. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, okay. okay. That's good, that's good. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, no fish event. Oh, in here! A controversial wedding. Oh, fun. <laughs> ah, you stare out over the assembled faces of your nobles. You have a big announcement for them. And you're not sure how they'll take it. <laughs> Badly, you expect? Clear your throat. <laughs> um, the, the thing is... <laughs> um, guys? I have an announcement. <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> your servants blow trumpets to signal the finful prince's arrival. He steps up beside you, his feet slapping on the marble, and he waves awkwardly. Um, I will do my best to bring our people together, our peoples together. For too long, land and sea have failed to understand each other. A collective gasp ripples through the ranks of nobles. Someone faints. One of the patricians spits out a mouthful of wine. <laughs> which one of Which one of <laughs> I bet it was... Uh... I, I think it was a Drishbane. Drishbane, I bet. <laughs> That's below! <clears throat> Even I'm dying. I, I also choked. <laughs> the monarch has married a fish! Someone fetched the archbishop! Oh my god, y'all! Everyone is so angry! Look at the defiance! By the blood of the dead, you married a finfolk over one of our eligible candidates? Um, it's all... <laughs> Get used to it, Bozo! <laughs> Can't you all be normal? 
normal for a change. <laughs> yeah, can y'all be normal for a change? Damn! And then there was mutter darkly among themselves. News of your finful husband spreads like wildfire throughout the kingdom. It's not long before an, an outraged archbishop is petitioning the council. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Your majesty, this undersea wedding is not legitimate. Finfolk traditions have no authority in this kingdom. And I will not allow your fishy friend to step a single webbed foot into St. Bernard's Cathedral. <gasps> How dare you call my husband that? That's fucked up! That's fucked up! <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, let me think. Um... Um... We gotta, we gotta have a wedding, guys. We, no, they can't stop me. They can't stop the wedding. They can't do that. They cannot. Mm -mm. Nah, we gotta, we gotta go with, we gotta go with A, honestly. Or B? Uh, I mean, they're, none of them are really too bad, but still, like, we gotta go. <clears throat> like, I know we already got married, but we gotta get married officially. You know? On land. Guys, we need one more phone. Uh. Uh. Wait, we, we need one more phone, guys. No. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the royal wedding goes ahead in the cathedral. <laughs> you think the fish people's traditions don't count? No, they, 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 they do. I'm not saying that. No, <laughs> we gotta have a wedding in both of the, uh, you know, in both traditions. You know, so <laughs> the wedding to the finful prince is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Commoners travel from every corner of the realm to attend. <gasps> they love it! For a week and a day. <laughs> the capital is one giant party. <laughs> the nobles are upset. Many nobles refuse to attend the event. Even now, they're still furious that you're marrying a finfolk. On the day of the ceremony, the streets are packed, but St. Bernard's Cathedral is nearly empty. <laughs> but when you walk down the aisle to see Glorb waiting by the altar, nothing else matters. Ugh. You think this fish husband as your lawfully wedded husband? I... I object! Who are you? Wait! You're the other one! Oh, no. What is this? Oh, you're high. Uh, wait, I object? You! Uh, no! No, n uh, uh, I'm marrying him now. You'd recognize that figure anywhere. It's Archduke Shomo, the man who had betrothed to the Finfolk Prince until you swooped in. You stole my husband, Snake! Fiend! I won my island! The Archduke is swiftly bundled away by security. But you suspect that's not the last you've heard of him. Mm-mm. You, you lied to my fish husband. <laughs> He's rolling his eyes. Okay, mm, -mm I do. Ah, he got an achievement from that! <laughs> The shape of water, you married to Finfolk Prince. Hell yeah. And I pronounce you married in the eyes of the kingdom. Now get out of here. Yay! <laughs> You're greeted outside the cathedral by a huge cheering crowd. The nobles in the church may not like it, but the common folk adore your new Finfolk husband. They like me. They really like me. Ah, oh, Finfolk. They, 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 not Finfolk. Glorp. Of course they would like you. Of course they would love the Finfolk. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> you and your husband head back to the palace where you celebrate long into the night. It's hours before the two of you have any time alone. Surface customs are so fascinating. I was particularly impressed by your land horses. So... What now? I can't stay above water for more than a week. And people still need... And my people still need a leader. Oh no, guys, he's not gonna be around the entire time. You mean you'll leave soon? I'm sorry, but I promise I'll be back as often as I can. Let's hope your nobles will get used to my presence. 
Let's not worry about it tonight. You're right, of course. <laughs> here to join me in bed. <laughs> no time like the present. Come here, my darling spouse. <sighs> you don't get much sleep. Oh, do I finally get my air? <laughs> Oh my god, the church condemns you. But the peasants are on your side for once. Across the kingdom, more and more ordinary people are striking up relationships with Finfolk and getting married in the shallows. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> oh, the farm rating went up! That is what I need! Is this the is this the game where I'm gonna win? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the improved relations between sea and shore. Are particularly beneficial for the coast, where finfolk happily herd fish into coastal nets. Ah, this is perfect! Who knew that all you had to do to win the game was just marry a fish? What the hell? It's that easy. <laughs> that was storm has struck the east. Unfortunately, many houses have been swept away in the floods. And the roads are impassable. What do we do? Alright, just a random problem. No fish guy. Uh, underscore says F. Marry the fish. <laughs> Finger guns, nice dry, human. But I'm not falling for that. Fish are friends, not romantic partners. Keep the chaos coming. No, but Chip, I, I, I. Uh, <clears throat> no, not nah, Chip has to know. Chip has to know I got married. Chip, I got. Married to a fish. How, how could you say that? <laughs> Chef says, Chip, I got married to a fish. How could you say that? Wait, what? <gasps> married to a fish? That's unexpected. Well, congratulations, Shiv. I guess everyone has their quirks. Just please, no fish babies. <laughs> That, the most emotion I've heard from Chip, like, wait, what? <laughs> Legitimately surprised? <laughs> it's like, that's unexpected. Well, congrats. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> okay, oh, treasure too low. Okay, well, that's fine. Um... <clears throat> with these options. Send extra troops. Peace will have to fend for itself. As the church to lead the relief efforts. Well, maybe not this one. Hmm. I'm vetoing. Sorry, you only got two options. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Guys, the church, the church ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> the church is gonna do fuck all. It's ten percent. It's ten percent chance. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I thought. Yep, yeah, sure. You guys will pick B. No, who am I kidding? <laughs> oh, it's one pick B. User. Thank you. No, that didn't really matter. Oh, whoops! I clicked too fast. Oh, it fails. Oh, guys, I'm so surprised. <laughs> it is Gamba. I see Gamba, I do Gamba. Real. The church proved unwilling to spend much of their hard-earned gold, and it turns out that priests, while excellent at preaching to a flock, aren't great at rebuilding houses. The church relief efforts are a dis dismal failure. Turning the common folk against them, with no one to repair the roads, trade falls to a standstill, and stockpiled crops rot in their storehouse. What the hell? Oh my god, the Count's Defiance is so high! Look! <laughs> no. Ah! Oh no! How did this happen? God! Oh. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna cover that up. It's alright. <laughs> oh, I think we've had this event before. Something has escaped from... Count Newt's castle. It was an unholy sight. A monster stitched together. I 
recognize my aunt Edna's earlobes. <laughs> Bring me Count Newt 0629. Now! <laughs> my boy escaped again! <laughs> this creature is my life's work, your majesty. They're my son! <laughs> <clears throat> His escape was regrettable, but he just wanted to see the village up close. Rest assured, I've chained him up, chained him up far more securely in my dungeon to ensure this won't happen again. Execution. <laughs> your, you and your unholy creation must be burned. Cleanse the world of your evil. Okay, guys, do we? <laughs> Who does one? Oh wait, I get to pick one. Um, no, but I don't want it. Um, okay. <clears throat> we either burn both Nuth and his monster. Burn the monster, but let the count Should live. Should and my boy be executed? <laughs> he, he doesn't even answer. You want me to ask again? <laughs> he, he does not know the context. I'll ask it for you. Chef says, Newt asks, should me and my boy be executed? No, Newt. No executions allowed here, just fun and games. Let's keep it light and entertaining, no need for extreme measures, it's all just virtual chaos. No, 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 that's just his TOS answer. You know, deep down we all know that we need to burn Newt and his son. <laughs> deep down, we know, guys. We know. We can just free the monster. <laughs> Alright, make your choice. No, my boy! <laughs> hmm. Oh, you guys are gonna let it live? Or not? The monster may live as long as it stays in prison. Your son doesn't get burned today, Newt. Enjoy this moment while it lasts. <laughs> Thank you, your highness. I promise the villagers will never again be troubled by my son's... Uh, unusual features. <laughs> Riots spark across the east as the priests whip the common folk into a frenzy. How can Newt have escaped justice after desecrating the dead and performing dark magic? My stability! No! Rumor spread that Newt had used his power to turn you into that puppet. Nah. Nah. No! Stability is so low. <laughs> Authority too. Oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let me double check. Um. Okay. What was this game called? Zero Crown yeah, says, awesome. Chip, be honest. Would you marry a fish? Then you could finally be fish and chip. Nice one, Zero Crown. But me, marry a fish? I'm above that, stay focused. Besides, the I'm hell? the one and only chip. No fish needed for my puns. What the hell? You're above that? You trying to say you're above my fish husband? What the? <laughs> okay, I looked it up. <clears throat> when a region's defined stat rises to a level that is higher than the kingdom's stability or authority, whichever's highest, they unlock the, you know, the rebel rebellion thing. Okay, so it's it's for both. I thought it was only one of the two, but it's both. Okay, sick. I mean, it's both lower now. That's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. We're fine for now, guys. We're fine. Don't look at that. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. No, 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 no. Look, guys. Fish husband. Get distracted. Get distracted. Get distracted. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, he's got a surprise for me. Harley, I have a surprise for you. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. We opened him again. You're looking at a map. <gasps> There's a new dot in the middle of the ghost sea. What's this? I raised a new island for you. Call it a wedding present. <gasps> oh my god. 
<laughs> when you announce the good news, the marshals is ecstatic. Even your nobles are grudgingly impressed. <clears throat> Let's see what the council wants to do with the new island. <laughs> Shake it! <laughs> oh no, nah, you would you wouldn't pick this one, no. <laughs> Look, the other ones are fine. They all will raise stability, so fuck you. <laughs> Make sashimi? No! You can't say that in front of my fish husband. He's so generous, I know. Turning to military outposts. Control the trade routes. Or give to the church. The church? Man, you're crazy. Can I use multiples? No. <clears throat> well, it's alright. All of them are fine. No increased stability anyway. <laughs> Y'all just picking a seat to fuck with me now. <laughs> like the, the church is zeros, zeros all around. Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? <laughs> what the hell? The staircase, look. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> You've been doing the church of the nine. All right. Look, they're happy now. They're happy. The church immediately sets about building a nunnery on the island. As thanks, we sing your praises in their sermons. Despite your controversial choice of husband. Has he? It's alright. It's fine. It's... Ugh. It's alright. I'm fine with this. I'm glad you like it. Glorp, you're the best husband ever. Best husband ever. Mm -mm. <laughs> what is this now? Oh, I think I know this. Um, how do you expect me to take this seriously, you crack brain simpleton? Space actually, Lana, what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, and the user, just shut your daft mouth and give me what I am owed, you honorless dog! Ah! Oh! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this pipple headed lackwit expects me to pay them a huge quantity of gold just because they're. Great great grandfather beat my great great grandfather in a foot race. <laughs> <clears throat> adapt Ode is Adapt Ode, is it not? Your Majesty, I only recently discovered this that while combing to my ancestor's journal. Honor dictates that no patrician space axolotl is liable for the ancestor's death. I'm the ninth! This is ludicrous! I don't mind we put this to a vote. I have five gold and three points. That's true, you're four. You've got nothing. <laughs> That'd be fucked up. Order Noble Patrician to pay their debts plus two centuries of interest. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, but that is gonna get voted. <laughs> you actually got like five? Like, that's the funniest, isn't it? Oh, you got a bit more now. But you had five earlier. That's hilarious. <laughs> Two centuries of interest. <laughs> oh. Oh, Sp Space Axelon, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Axelon. It's just really funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. You <laughs> one vote for the other one. <laughs> I clicked too fast. Whoops. <laughs> That's below two centuries of interest. But I'll go bankrupt. Your great great grandfather should have thought of that before he decided to run so slowly. Tell you what, I'll give you a few weeks to sell off the family silver before I expect full payment. <laughs> Damn, user, you're so greedy. <laughs> This is an outrage! User, you little snake! I'll catch you back for this! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! That's crazy. <laughs> but really funny. <laughs> Your Majesty, mass unemployment and unrest have arisen in the East. Business is going bankrupt, mills shutting down. People are calling it a Great Depression because it's making everyone miserable. Yes, my investments have all gone up in smoke! And it's the same for all the other cults. We must find a way to lift the East out of poverty. Mm, oh no. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. Tell the peasants to stop buying so much turnip toast. 
These peasants, they really love their turnip toast. <clears throat> they really love it. They really love it. Hmm. Should I use Royal Gamble? Plus treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. The nobles vote otherwise, minus 200. <clears> hmm. <throat> Before that, this one, guys, I get money. So you you don't want that, right? You you don't want that. You don't want me to get money, right? <laughs> Where my cash money? <laughs> SpaceX Lyle's got like <laughs> like a piece of gum, a paper clip, and uh, and a dead fly in their pocket. I don't know what kind of money you're asking for right now. <laughs> Oh my god, of course y'all go for the gamba too. My job is digging ditches, building roads, or peasants tell peasants to stop buying so much turnip toast. That would be really funny. No, no more votes. No more votes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Morning is closed. Tell the peasants to stop buying so much turnip toast. They really like their turnip toast. Turnip toast, that's it. That's the problem. The peasants are just buying too much turnip toast. If I have to say turnip toast one more time, I'm gonna go insane. They should learn how to manage their budgets. That's what the council agrees. <laughs> the peasants were... <laughs> I do not want to say turnip toast again! That's what the council agrees anyway. With much back slapping and laughter, it makes everyone feel much better. Um... Wait, wait, glow, wait, glow. That was it. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Fortunately, it doesn't solve anything. Okay. <laughs> and industries continue to collapse in the east with knock-on effects on the trade partners across the rest of the kingdom. Next council session, no one's laughing. My stability! Oh my god! It went that way too? My stability! What the hell? Guys, uh, no. <laughs> Kingdom's in great jeopardy, and the council's calling for the monarch's inner circle to resign. Drisbane ah. says, turnip toast for Shiv. Turnip toast Save for me. Save the turnip toast for the humans, Drisbane. I don't do food, remember? Shiv can enjoy it though, as long as it doesn't distract her from our mission. Mission. To make fish babies. <laughs> Okay, thank god I get the turnip toast. You know, the peasants aren't allowed to get that anymore, but I, I am. <laughs> Shiv is a human. Um, actually, as you know, I am a cyborg. A cyborg stands for cybernetic organism, which means I do still have organic parts, which means I have a stomach! And I can't eat. Mm -mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, Chip is fully robot, though. He's not a cyborg. I am. We need to increase the pressure. I guess the turnip toast wasn't good enough, huh? You still have all my issues. <clears throat> wasn't the Schlor that you're an alien? Well, yeah, that too. Can the cyborg be from another planet? Not <laughs> if the monarch's in a weak enough position, they've got no choice but to bow to our demands. No more interfering spy master. No more martial chancellor or treasurer. A whole new inner circle. All made up of patricians. No! I don't want that! That's the worst. <laughs> Lower authority to four or less? Oh my goodness. No. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Chiefs! 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 Chiefs. Can you pretty please buy the library? I'd appreciate that. Um, and everyone else just don't fund anything. Thank you. <laughs> the library doesn't help. Well, wait, I mean, it helped a little bit. Anything is better than the, the low stability we have now, right? Like, I'm still trying to prevent them from rebelling. You know, I gotta increase something. Now everything oh it, it, like it lowers everything lowers <laughs> like <laughs> it's fucked up all right um <clears throat> here are the stats too take a look at it why we buying boys 
Sea! We're buying sea, guys! We're, we're gonna buy sea! Library! We're gonna buy a library, guys! Yeah, yeah, my, my library! <laughs> Please, 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 find a library, please. <laughs> oh, and like the rest, I don't care. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Y'all gonna go for the theater anyway. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Buy the observatory too, you know, lower the faith. Who cares? <laughs> No, see, see, we need see. <laughs> oh no. Fifteen seconds more of pure torture. Somebody, y'all gonna like fun the max amount at the last second. Like I know you guys will. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, they both got main. But as long as the library's there too, I'm cool with it. Yes! Library! Let's go! <laughs> and the theater, I guess. Fine. Um, uh-oh. Wait, you are rebelling? Oh my god. Why? Pounds, it's really funny that you're rebelling. It's really funny because, you know, for rebelling, you do need a lot of military, which you don't. You don't have any military at all, so... I don't know what you're trying to do here, Counts. I, I really don't know what you're trying to do here. I'm sorry. That's, this, is a, this is your worst idea so far. <laughs> Are you sure you want to rebel? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> well, Patricia, do you want to rebel? I mean, aren't you kind of close to getting your goal? Like, why would you rebel now? Yeah. Ooh, nah. <laughs> uh oh. At long last, the counts have reached their boiling point. You're confronted in your throne room by Count Newt. His smile as sharp as a scalpel. I should have burned you at the stake with your son, Newt. The counts of the East will bring you down, pretender to the throne. We will rise up and fight for Emmanuel, the true king. Formal declaration of war. Next time we see each other, we'll be on the battlefield. You kill him! <laughs> no, I always do that. I always just kill them immediately, but... I'll, I'll enjoy seeing you perish on the battlefield, Newt. I'll... <laughs> It'll be too easy if I do it now. Mm -hmm. One day... You had on the Although it would lower authority, but it's already low. Mm. Maybe I should go with stability? <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> Come along now, traders get the chop. What? No, you, you can't do this! <laughs> I'm an animal! See? See how the monarch's tyranny grows worse by the day? <laughs> Hi, Newt! Newt is dragged out into the courtyard and his head is struck from his shoulders. <laughs> Fuck you, Newt! <laughs> I didn't expect him to move so boldly, your majesty. What are the chances? Pretty good. <laughs> See? Our chances are great! How things get this bad? The leader of the rebellion is Count Play like Piggy. Piggy, this is your fault. It's your fault that Newt died. Mm hmm. You need to apologize. It is. Now it's time for swords, not words. All right, civil war. I get it. This happens every time. <laughs> Good time to come in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wait, who did you join? Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I want to know which one you're in. Oh, you're in the protections. Okay, you're not rebelling just yet. You know, yet. <laughs> oh. A solish assassin? Oh, wait, from my husband's ex. Okay. <laughs> One bright morning, you ta you're taking a stroll in the palace gardens. Arm in arm with your beloved husband, my beloved fish husband. <laughs> 
<clears throat> with the help of my Finfolk villagers, we can build underwater roads which open up the trade between... <gasps> Glorp is interrupted when a black clad figure wielding a crossbow. Oh my goodness. Pops up. Pops out of a mulberry bush and takes careful aim at his heart. <gasps> no! Watch out! Oh! Time seems to slow. <laughs> One of you northern warriors rushes forward and dives in front of your husband! No! My guard! The bolt strikes him to the stomach, sending him crashing to the floor. The rest of your honor guards rush forward and chop the would-be assassin to pieces. By the depths, my life flashed before my eyes. Your majesty, are you alright? How's the king concert? One of my honor guards is badly hurt. You know, I care about the chiefs too, obviously. Positions on their way. While we wait, let me examine the assassin's body. See the squid tattoo on the side of her face? That's the mark of the blue octopus. An assassin's guild from Saul. <gasps> it seems Archduke so Shomo is still annoyed that you stole his husband. All right, don't care. Evidently, the Archduke has decided that if, if he can't have me, no one can. I fucked up. Oh man, I haven't been great. Um... Call on the Finfolk to attack Solace ships. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> Make holes in the ship! Sink them! Sink them all! <laughs> Feeding off palace security would be boring. You could veto it. Nah. I'm fine with both of these, actually. You know, stability is already fucked. I don't care. <laughs> it's already at bottom. It's already so bad. I have no idea we could interact with neighboring countries in such a way. I didn't either. <laughs> like, there was an event where this guy was gonna marry Fish Prince, but then it turned out the Fish Prince was gonna give him a land that was worth a lot. And then. Decision was made, I'm gonna try and who the the fish prince and I did and now I'm married. <laughs> it's great. I didn't know you can do that. I didn't know they even existed, those Finfolk. Finfolk! Attack! Leave this to me, Harley. My people can take care of this. Hell yeah! Let's go! All is well. Your husband travels home and organizes a gathering of the Finfolk clans. An underwater war is de declared on Saul. Oh, over the next few months, hundreds of Saulish vessels disappear without a trace. Saulish fishing and trade flounders while the patricians prosper. Well, patricians, you hear that? This is good for you guys. You definitely shouldn't rebel against me. You're gonna lose all the good you have. Long last, Archduke Shomo is forced to meet with you and your husband. Begging for a truce. Well, well, well. Look who came crawling back. Oh! oh. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, wait. Hmm. Okay, okay. Money? Raid or military? I feel like I could use military. I feel like I could. It'd be pretty handy. But money is also good. The military would be better, I think. Yeah, right. Give me all your warships. Now! Oh, true, they go to the patrician. Well, that's alright. Patricians, please don't fight with me. <laughs> military unbeatable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for the money instead. Can I go now? Yeah, bye. Oh. One last thing. Oh! With immense gravitas, your husband steps forward and slaps the Archduke with a large dead fish. Rapow! The Archduke staggers back, looking utterly perplexed. Oh, 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 how dare you! I don't have to suffer this! Oh. <laughs> After the Archduke storms out of the negotiation tent, your husband offers you a mischievous smile. Or mischievous. I, I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Mis mischievous? A smile. <laughs> if anyone asked, that was the traditional Finfolk method of sealing a treaty. But really, 
I just wanted to slap him with a fish. That's so funny. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I love it. You do you, fish husband. You do you. Slap whoever you want. <laughs> is it not mischievous? Wait, is it mischievous? I, I hear some people say mischievous, so I, I, I don't know. I thought I was saying it wrong the entire time. <clears throat> uh oh. It's been a long time coming. Over 300 years ago, the East was conquered, but before that, we were our own rulers. With a lineage of monarchs stretching back a thousand years. The glory days. Indeed, and that's why we must rise up. By placing Emmanuel on the throne, we will reclaim what we have lost. But first, we must decide on tactics. My fellow counts, I ask you. How shall we strike first? We can lodge a preemptive strike against the chiefs to cripple their military capabilities. <gasps> if we suspect the patricians may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the monarch's authority is low. We could also call upon the church to condemn the monarch. Or finally, you could send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh I feel like all of these are <laughs> very viable options. That is not something I'm looking forward to. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look at the chances! <laughs> why, why is it just like 0%, 100%, 0%? Alright, well of course everyone's gonna vote 100! Oh no! Oh, patricians, patricians, patricians! I, I got you, I got your military to ten. I am helping you guys. I married a fish husband, you know that, you know he lived really close to you guys. I, I love crap coin. I love crap coin, guys. It, I, I love patricians. Patricians are great. <laughs> please, I'll, I'll bring back the jeweled crabs. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Cunning patricians of the coast, too long have you suffered under the yoke of the monarch's tyranny. Join us in a righteous war, and if we win, we'll eliminate your taxes. They speak truly. Why do we never think of things this way? Guys, 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 guys. You're gonna kill my fish husband and me? You're gonna do that? User like 120298 says, just break the taxes. I will. I will, nice but... User 120298. Please, please. But I don't break the rules, just bend them a little. No, no tax evasion oh. happening here. No. Only mischief and mayhem within the limits. No, please, guys. I'll, uh, I won't tax you. I won't tax you. Look, look, guys. Look, look. No, no tax. No taxes. No taxes for you guys. No, no taxes. It's okay. You, you guys don't... No, 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 no tax. Okay, please, please. <laughs> Guys, guys. <laughs> but, oh, now I don't have any money. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Please, guys. Please. It wouldn't even matter if I did. Y'all were gonna get me anyway. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll lower by one. It'll still be nine. Like, look. It'll be only nine still, and you'll still rebel anyway. <sighs> Who's in there? <clears throat> if the patricians in the chat say that they're not gonna rebel, like all four of you, I will not tax you. All right, like uh, all four of you need to say it. All four of you need to say it. You need to pinky promise me. Pinky promise me that you're not gonna rebel. Pinky promise. Otherwise, you're getting the common tax. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Just tell a lie to get her money. No. <laughs> I feel like you guys aren't pinky promising. <laughs> oh, whoa, but you didn't cancel my debt. I did it. The council voted on that. I didn't do that. Blame the counts. They voted for it. <laughs> I didn't. 
Okay, it doesn't seem like you guys are really saying, you know, like I pinky promise we're not gonna rebel. You know, I'm not really seeing that in the chat. You're, you're not saying it. You're not saying it. You, you're not. Like you're you're dancing around it. You're not. You are getting the common. Th you're not telling me you're not gonna rebel. So now I don't believe. You. I don't believe you. <laughs> get decks. Like if I be, if I'm gonna get hit by a rebellion, at least I won't have money during it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh my god. <clears throat> a great battle. Vast armies darken the landscape like the shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. At least that's what you imagine. I'm just sitting here. Um, the army of the east at this is advancing on the capital. Being led by Piggy. <clears throat> <coughs> Oh my god. I've received word from the commander of our loyalist forces in the coast. If they march now, they'll intercept the counts in a matter of days. Yeah, no, I don't really trust the Patricias of the coast. <laughs> Alternatively, they could join forces with the army of the north. It's risky, but together they'd have a higher chance of defeating their cursed counts. What are your orders? Patricians and the chiefs should join forces because the patricians themselves you are not gonna help me <laughs> you are not <laughs> chiefs help me out here and like protect me protect me <laughs> we have our orders but should we follow them yes of course guys you should definitely follow the orders <laughs> oh my goodness And spear and Taurus hammer, we will smack them. We're gonna smack them silly. Protect me and my fish husband and a glorious kingdom so that I can have my fish babies! Finally! Please! Let me have my fish air! I beg! <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh, fuck you, cows! Fuck you! <laughs> the whole city holds its breath. You stew in your pal is waiting for your marshal's return. Finally, she arrives at your throne room looking perfectly composed. <laughs> your Majesty. As you order, the patricians have turned their army around to link up with the chiefs. Hmm. 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 All according to Keikaku. Indeed, your majesty. Let's hope the plan is sound. At least, well, I hope it is. So far it is, right? I'll come down to your next battle, your majesty. The fate of the kingdom hands in the balance. We will prevail. Counts. You are quite literally fucked with your two military. You are cry <laughs> Yeah, literally, count your days. You are going up against nine and ten military. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is really funny. Now we get finally get to see what happens when a rebellion fails. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> Over the next few weeks, it becomes clear that the coastal army's retreat has given the Count's free reign to pillage and plunder the, clo the coast. Okay, well, whatever. I am my farming! No! <laughs> oh, well, it's still... It's, it's still... All right. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Ah, uh, that's all right. That's all right. But anyway, the forces successfully link up with the chiefs. That's good. And they joined the army of the patricians and the chiefs rushed to meet the Counts in open warfare. The winner will either end your reign or preserve it. <laughs> we'll kill you and your beast. Oh, you hear that, Newt? 
Uh-oh. Actors, what is this? Your Majesty, my angels, are, my angels are everywhere. Busy times right now. I've heard something particularly interesting. Dummy, dummy, dummy! Of course. There are dissenters among the Eastern troops who want this conflict as little as we do. Oh. Some towns of the East don't want to fight. My agents could use them to show opposition amongst their ranks. It could be dangerous, but could significantly damage enemy morale. <laughs> oh, or we could lure them to join the northern troops. Some of the chiefs might resent hosting turncoats, but we must be practical. Oh, they really trying to jump ship here. Hmm. Yeah, I do have the veto. Let's see what's the worst one. <clears throat> Okay, probably not the B, because I don't really have the money for that. So, I think I'm gonna veto that one. The other two are both Gamba! Enjoy! Pick your Gamba! Pick your poison! Pick your Gamba! So crazy! Well, both of them got good chances, you know? We'll get it! We'll get it! We'll get the good outcome, guys! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I mean, obviously, they want to jump ship. I mean, these counts being so silly. They don't know what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Order the rebel dissenters to lower eastern morale. Oh, now it's 50-50. Which one is it gonna be? Oh, I get to pick. Okay. <clears throat> Chiefs, do you want the dregs of the other people's armies, or are you gonna be like, fuck the cows? You know, but not literally. <laughs> I'm tempted to go for A. Fuck the cows. That's what I'm thinking. Sorry, cows. You pissed me off, cows! You were being so mean to me the entire time! Please work. Please. It's 80%. In the coming weeks, the Spy Master's agents get to work, probably spreading the word about how badly the Counts are handling the civil war. I mean, are they not? Yes! <laughs> no, they're so pathetic! That's funny. <laughs> One evening, the Marshal strides in her air, Ari, and streets blood. <laughs> I have no idea what Spy Master's been up to, and I don't care to know, but the Easy Morale has dropped through the floor. Something's shaking them up, that's for sure. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Ah! I'm winning, I'm winning! Let's go! Oh my goodness. So happy. <laughs> Your Majesty, as the Counts were marching to the north, they were hit by a fierce blizzard. Unable to progress through the mud, they set up camp beside the White Fleet River. Sitting ducks. Precisely, we must strike. Don't be foolish, Marshal. Holy crown. Do you think our own troops are immune to the weather? We'll have the same problems. Hmm. If I may suggest another option, Your Majesty, the Counts are drawing all their water from the White Fleet River. Oh, <laughs> if we were to poison it upstream. The troops would suffer greatly. By the Star Flayer. That's dishonorable. That's a dishonorable way to conduct a war. Kindness, you cannot seriously be considering this. Um. To be fair, we don't really need it. Ugh, like, it'd be funny. It'd be really funny for the bit. But. I would. We don't need to. Y'all's military. It's 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 already one. It's already one. Like what is this gonna do? It's gonna bring it down to zero. <laughs> I don't yeah, nah, that it's dishonorable, sure. If we herd all the cattle in the north into the riverbank upstream and allow all their effluents to flow freely into the river, the water will be contaminated. It's hard to fight on a upset stomach. <laughs> Ninth above, you are devious. I don't feel comfortable with this, your majesty. I'll need council approval before I proceed. Hmm. <laughs> it's so funny, though. <laughs> Just let the cows poop in the river. 
And look, the first one will work. It's got 100%. <laughs> I use one of these too. Plus one stability. I'll do that. All right. <laughs> it is straight up 100%. Like, look at that. And the other one is 90, which is also really good. <laughs> Watch the counts vote for C. We so good. We so good. We so good. A ah! <laughs> it is. A it is. Um, but ambush the rebel camp with all available northern troops. All of them. All right, let's go. Get him! Dash, dash, dash. They charge into the camp, taking the rebels by surprise and wreak havoc. By the time the Counts have rallied their troops, your soldiers have already melted back among the trees, leaving chaos in their wake. <laughs> Look at their military! <laughs> I did not think it could Greetings go any Greetings to their Royal Majesty Shiva. Ah. May thine reign be long and prosperous. Greetings to the patricians of the coast. May your wine flow a plenty and your the wind bless your sails. Greetings to the my fellow chiefs. May our axes strike true and further great wood bless our <laughs> hunts. I have returned from my hunt to aid our cause. Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear, Chip. That's what I like to hear. We are we are winning here, Chip. You don't understand. We just drained their military. Like they've got nobody left. <laughs> Nobody's in there anymore. <clears throat> Good streamer, please let me know the status of the schemes. Um, how do I do that? I have over this. Oh, whoops, I'm covering it. I think you should also be able to see it in the overlay if you're on desktop. But this is one for the patricians of the coast. Mm. Uh, look at that. The counts are rebelling and the chiefs um, are helping me. Um, so they gotta help me with the farming and uh, give me an air and stuff. So yeah. Look at us, look at us. <clears throat> I'm saying it was a perfectly viable strategy. We didn't even need it. We didn't need the cows to shit in the water. We just <laughs> we just went there and <laughs> killed them all. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't win any other ones. Look, we are winning. We're winning. It's going great. Aha! Air, air, air! <laughs> your marriage to Glorp has leaped from strength to strength over the past few months. Truly, you found your soulmate, and every day you count your blessings. High time you, you thought about an heir. Oh. oh, you're finally married. But something's still missing. You need an heir. Zero Istria says, did the Counts finally get sick from sipping on poor orphans and realize that the only blood that should flow is their own to fertilize the soil? Damn. Count Istrius, always with a dramatic flair. <laughs> but let's leave poor orphans alone and stick to virtual battles, shall we? <laughs> the only blood we need is pixels on the screen. <laughs> he, he draws the limits at or like... Killing orphans or shit, like... <laughs> he draws the limit there, like, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. We're not stooping that far low, all right? We may be evil, you know, he may be evil, but he's not a bad person, you know? <laughs> all right, but an heir. Hearing heir is impossible while the kingdom is at war with itself. No, what? Only when, oh, counts. What the hell? Just, <laughs> Lose already, so I can get an air. You suck. Oh my god. <laughs> War is taking its toll. All that's left of the Count's army are the cowards, the untrained, and the walking wounded. No banging in war times? Man, what am I supposed to do then? Ugh. <laughs> <clears throat> We're doomed. Yes. I think we might be doomed. 
Oh well, it's done. But damn it! I should have done this one first! <laughs> But now are we to speak of the Kanskenab march in rebellion? They mill around their camp, waiting for the monarch's forces to come and smash them to pieces. It was nice knowing you guys. Anyway. <laughs> this is quite literally just said like, <clears throat> the counts don't have army anymore. So um, yeah, you lost. <laughs> You've got nothing to fight with. Your majesty, a merchant is here to see you. He has come all the way from Kurth, I hear. Oh. In the middle of a war? Actually, I think exactly that's exactly why he's here. Your luminance! <clears throat> so wonderful to see you. I hope you and your Glorp... You and Glorp, not your Glorp. I hope you and Glorp are doing well. Doing very well, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Moreover, you'll be pleased to know that the Kurt Senate have deliberately... That have deliberated for many weeks, and ultimately agreed to extend you the offer of an arms contract. Not just any contract, mind you. The Republic has offered to sell gunpowder weapons. Oh, okay. Interesting. Muskets, cannons, blunderbusses, bombards, you name it, I have it. Okay, what do you have? <laughs> <clears throat> I need pictures for all of these. I need like mental pictures. I'm gonna look it up. What the blunder buses? Like I've heard of all of these, but okay, that's just a uh, certain type of gun. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my god. Gah. All these readings make my throat hurt. Okay, bombards are just a uh, weird type of cannon. Like a very small one. Well, not small, but weirdly shaped. Mortar. I think I know what that is. No, I didn't. Hi. That looks very modern. Old mortar. It's also a cannon. Okay. <laughs> cannons. I know what cannons look like. Muskets are the other guns. Okay, so the options are basically... Gun, cannon, 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 gun. Okay. Hmm... Bombards. The bigger boom, the better. But what if it blows us up? I think muskets will be good, you know? Muskets will always be helpful. 900? Okay, wait, hold on. Um, well, how much are the blunderbusses? 850. Nah. Um, actually, I will think of that. Bombards? Well, you didn't tell me how much those are. Okay, I think I'll be fine with just the muskets. Probably. Uh, I barely have any money. Oh my god. What are the cannons? Uh, like, thousand! The mortars? At 1200! I'll do just with the muskets. Those, I think those are the cheapest. <laughs> Simply sublime. Total is 900. Yes, that's fine. Oh, my money. <laughs> oh, thank God. All right, let's distribute them. Um, <laughs> Chief Steve wants some muskets. <laughs> Why on earth would I give them to you, patricians? Why on earth would I do that? <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, rebel. I mean, that's why I did it, huh? So now my military matches yours. <laughs> anyway, let's see then. Anything else? Somewhere along the coast, noble patrician space axolotl strolls in their olive grove, accompanied by a close friend. The ninth god has finally answered our prayers, my friend. I'm surprised you all want to rebel when you're so close to finishing your scheme. The council demands that the monarch's advisors resign, and the monarch is too weak to resist. Our replacements are waiting in the wings. Once our advisors surround the monarch, we'll have complete control of what they hear. 
You will shape their reality. We'll treat the monarch like a mushroom. Keep them in the dark and feed them. No, no, let's not let's not be vulgar. The question is what do we what to do with this control? <laughs> the king obviously favors, even though we valiantly help their efforts. This is unacceptable. Well, that's exactly why I look at it. I do one thing for the chiefs and y'all immediately betray me. I don't know, there wasn't that much trust between us anyway. Go! <laughs> Oh, what are you guys gonna do with this? Hmm. Turn the monarch into a useless figurehead, raise stability, or force the monarch to abdicate in favor of their claimant, to raise others' defiance. Uh oh. <laughs> Only the warriors can have guns. Let the crab people tend to the sea. To be fair, y'all's military couldn't be couldn't go any higher anyway. Oh, it's 50-50. What's it gonna be? Race stability? Thank fucking god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. That's fine. I mean defiance is like y'all would have gotten that immediately. I didn't want that. <laughs> We'll turn the monarch into a powerless little puppet. Dun, dun. Not that it's scary how much you get into this, but yes, it's a great plan. But now? Now the kingdom must return to prosperity, and we'll ensure we get all the credit. Council will see this as a demonstration of our competence. They'll insist on sweeping out the old guard, and at that point, we've won. Raise the ability to at least a Five. Oh, it's a three now, so gotta let, raise it a bit more. Maybe a bit more. A bit more. But actually, don't because uh, I don't really want that. Yeah. <laughs> the wars end. The counts and the patricians are united against us. The final battle is nigh. To decide the fate of the kingdom, I'll send word to the chiefs that it's time to strike. Why are we rebelling? Why are you asking me? Why are you rebelling? <laughs> y'all voted this? I didn't think y'all would be rebelling already. I thought y'all were gonna get your your thing. Oh. Well, it's alright, you know. Honestly, it's 50-50. Like, the council ain't got shit. Like, <laughs> it's gonna be 10 against 10. You know, so... Yeah. We'll see what it is. It's actually like an even fight, isn't it? You know, if it does, if it uses those stats for the fight, which I hope it would. <laughs> Triumphant gleam. <gasps> Tell me what happened. <gasps> ah! Fuck you! Look at your military. Look at that. Look at that. Fuck you. Minus two. Get that. Get that. Ah! <laughs> We ambushed them in a narrow pass and rained down arrows from both sides. Oh, let's go! <laughs> By the time we were done, both their armies were slaughtered and nothing stood between our troops and the rebel lands. <laughs> oh, let's go! So we split the coastal army in two and swept into both the east and the coast, looting and pillaging the whole way. We speak, your majesty. Our armies are laying siege to Count Blakeface. Fortress. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. It sounds suspiciously like we've won. All that remains are the formalities of victory, your majesty. Oh, fuck you guys. Ah! <laughs> you died. You died. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Marsha rides back out to oversee the siege. A few days later, you receive word that Count Piggy's castle has fallen. Aha! Just like that, the rebellion is over. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, Chiefs, you've gotten richer. See, guys? When you support me, you get rich. And don't die. <laughs> We're parading and having fun. And meanwhile, Piggy, the leader of a rebellion, is brought to you in chains. Well, well, well. <laughs> Come in full crowd into the palace to watch a trial. 
We need a strong monarch in this kingdom. We weren't up to the task. All the same stats, isn't it? <laughs> Let them go with a warning. <laughs> well, I did it for the funny. Oh, it did it for the bit, huh? Hmm. 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 You caused me suffering. You prevented me from getting fish babies with my with my fish husband. Like that's fucked up. You only deserve one thing for that. Death! Stiff backed and silent. Count Piggy is dragged out to the city square and led up onto a platform before the roaring masses. The executioner's axe falls, the head bounces into the crowd, and the common folk kick it around and cheer. Haha, <laughs> kick the head, it's funny! Oh my god, look at your defense! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Now this surprisingly is going well for me. I'm very happy. I'm very, I'm very happy. I'm grateful. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. I was tired of seeing both of those defiances at 10. <laughs> now it's both one. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. That's what you get. Never rebel against me again. And now I finally want to get an air, please. Oh my god. Oh shit, a party even up. Oh no, wait, what is Finity too? Is your scheme still going? Man, as you sit resplendent atop your throne, the common folk raise a mighty cheer. Long live the monarch, they shout. Long live the monarch. I sure hope I, I live long. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah, it's still going. Oh great. <laughs> oh no! Really? You just... Oh my... Mm. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens. The chiefs are gathered in the empty council hall late at night. A new report from one of their spies had just come in. Like Rahala's beard, the patricians have been worming their way into the monarch's inner circle this whole time. They're planning to fire all the other advisors and turn Harley into their puppet. Don't raise stability. The thing is, it's already at five. What they need? They can't do that. They're our puppet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm the chief's puppet. You're right, but it's already happening, and the monarch has still has yet to produce an heir. Perhaps this is a war changing tact. If it's too late for Monarch Harley, we might want to get out while we can. <gasps> no, 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 chiefs, chiefs. I've been on your side the time. Actually, please don't. <laughs> But it's all or nothing play. If we rebel now, all our goodwill will be gone. Not to match a few of our heads if we lose. System we'll says, be back to square one. Has read the channel for 12 years. Hi. More readers, more Hello. fun. Welcome, me oh. underscore and the crew. Thank you, Let's Ray. make some digital Hello, memories readers. and have a blast How together. Was the stream? Wait, you were also playing King of the Castle? Hey, yo, what? Really? Oh my god, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Come on in, fellas. Come on in. We li quite literally just beat the rebellion against two uh, factions. One, and then I think I'm gonna lose in a bit. It's, it's, it's fucked up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> yeah, it's great. This game is so much fun. Like, uh, this is already an existing game that I had. And we're just continuing it. Mm -mm, it's like third to fourth gen generation. <laughs> But I hope you had a good stream! Also, hi people! Hi Raiders! I'm Shiver, also known as Shiv. I'm playing in the castle. And um, uh, yeah, I play it occasionally. So, uh, if you like this. Definitely stick around! And join on in if you want. <clears throat> Game is so great. Kept playing it the previous days. It's so good, right? It's really addicting. I do really hope I win. I, I, I just want to win once in this game. Like, look at these stats, okay? <laughs> If you joined here like 10 minutes ago, you would have seen that the counts and patricians would have had defiance 10, both of them. And patricians also had military 10. And I won. I won against both of them. But now, like, the patricians, like, their scheme immediately continued after the rebellion. And now, like, it, it, these bastards are about to win. It's, no, no, no. Chiefs, chiefs, chiefs. I'm begging you. Please help me. <laughs> the chiefs have been helping me the entire game, and I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> but I don't, please. <clears throat> oh, what do we do? Oh, none of these are good. 
Well, it's definitely not... Definitely not stability one, yeah? My goodness. It's fine. It's fine. Board mana with propaganda campaign. That's good. That's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. I'm sure it's fine. Please! Please! Ugh. The gods are good. They should help Harley keep a good grip on the peasantry. But we can't do it all for them. Oh. <laughs> Please help me. Chiefs, you gotta help me if you wanna win. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Did I fuck up? Back in the east, Count David has met with their co-conspirators once again. Wine is being passed around in good measure, but there seems to be a little cause for celebration. It's no good. Serfs are losing momentum. If we don't keep up the pressure, they'll go back to living their normal lives in peace. Lazy, good for nothings. Can't even get off their backsides from one measly revolt. No, but these ones aren't close yet. You have to keep them unhappy. Don't allow the monarch time to stabilize. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, Counts, you want a lower stability too? Oh, but now, like, it's... Uh... Uh... <gasps> guys, guys, the prison. Oh, please. <laughs> please get the prison. And anything else, but besides the library, okay? <laughs> Do not get the library. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. <clears throat> and keep in mind, like, the top two, top two are gonna get funded. Okay, like, the top two. No, please don't let the library be in the top two. <laughs> I beg. I, I, I beg of you. Here, I'm trying to show the stats on the left, too, but I don't know if they really have an impact. Um, oh my goodness. This is the most progressed game I've ever seen. This is the far... This is the furthest I've gone, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> like, I've played this game quite a bit. And I've only got a, gotten air once. And I'm really hoping that this time will be my second time. Because guys, okay, Raiders, you don't know this, but I have a fish husband now. I have a fish husband. I married a fish guy. I married a fish in this game. And I want to have fish babies. And for that, I really, really want to win. <laughs> I want to have fish babies. I want to have a fish heir. And these people are not letting me. Like, this is my only goal. Fish heir. <laughs> not the fin folk. <laughs> I married the fish guy. I married the... Uh, what's his name again? Glorb. <laughs> what's his name? Glorb? I think his name was Glorb. He's really you hard. Okay? Need an heir. <laughs> if you bang that fish, we win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's good. That's good. Check. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, but now for the counts, it's good. But it's all right. You know, like it's better than the alternative. It's all right. It's good. Oh hell yeah, Shai! Let's go. Bankruptcy. Uh oh. <laughs> My air. Let's do the air first. Air, air, air. <sighs> Now the kingdom is at peace, you must seek an heir. There needs to be someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. Fish baby. Fish. Baby. <laughs> yes! I get my fish baby! <laughs> the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from Molly so you can... Um, <clears throat> Get down to business. <laughs> Let's go. Finally, please. Get me my fish, baby. <laughs> Congrats on your guppy. Oh, that's... I'm gonna name it Guppy. That's so cute. <laughs> no way, Chef. Cooler piggy here. Oh, yeah. Count piggy the second. <laughs> Son of... Betrayer Count Piggy who read the rebellion. <laughs> I'm totally not in the overthrowing business right now. I'm all in on the fish baby. Oh, hell yeah. Guys, we're going bankrupt. <laughs> Let's print more money. <laughs> mm. All right. Few options. Bank loan. Sell the crown jewels. Oh, crack over some of your predecessor tombs. 
friend money make more money guys tell me why it would not work <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> okay which one would be better <clears throat> oh honestly lowering stability would be good you know really make sure that the counts don't get it <laughs> yeah i think that'd be best Increases the fines, but it's alright because it's really low. Alright, time to crack open some tools. Inflation! Oh uh, no, guys, that doesn't make sense. You see, if you print more money, you get more money. Mm -hmm, see the problem. <laughs> Let's create some graves. You order the royal mausoleums to dug in and to unload it. The result is quite a bounty. <laughs> Gold masks, heap of coins, precious jewels, all good, all swell. Okay, not everyone is as practical as your treasurer, however. The church denounces you as a grave robber. Mm -hmm. Nobles and peasants alike are disgusted by your greed. Mm, anyway, don't care. At least I got money and I'm not in debt anymore. That's, not, not, you know, that's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> your Majesty, the expedition you sent to Chur has finally returned. Oh shit! Already? Last time I did that, it took like a whole generation to come back. They brought something back quite extraordinary. A number of bedraggled sailors entered the room. They're supporting an incredible figure who stumbles around uncertainly on the stone floor. Wait, what? Wait, what? The figure has the head of a horse. Their body has been twisted by magic, but it was clearly once human. They have one hand with five malformed digits. Their two hoofed feet Flop loudly as they walk. Hey, yo, what? What the hell's that? Ray, your majesty, let me explain. This is a wizard of great power. The horse snorts and neighs loudly. Do you make a mockery of the monarch with the sham? Never, your steamness. It is a horse wizard. He just has difficulty talking. Or with the snout. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not gonna execute him. That was funny. No, I don't want to execute him. Yeah, we'll take him in. <laughs> After months of painstaking experimentation, you devise a way to communicate with the creature. Incredibly, the horse does indeed claim to be a once human wizard. Look at that. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, that's wait, that's good. Wait, I actually need farming to win. <laughs> wait. 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 This is Is this the game where I'm going to win? Is this the game where I'm going to win? I'm going to win. Oh my god. In exchange for keeping him at your castle, he bestows upon you multiple wisdoms relating to the taming of beasts and their agricultural uses. Oh my goodness. Farming in the kingdom is revolutionized. Practically overnight. That is pretty sick. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> you already won once. What do you mean? It was like the second or third round. Yeah. When was that? It's like a year ago. Alright. Let me have this. Let me have this. Now let me have my air too. <laughs> Back in the East, Count Pro David has met with their co-conspirators once again. Wine is being passed around in good measure, and it seems spirits are high. You've done it again, my good friends. The lowborn are in an uproar. Riots are commonplace across the kingdom. I foresee no negative consequences of this. <laughs> Famous last words. I don't know for the monarch, of course. How exquisite. I'm sure the monarch is already cowering in their palace. No, I'm I'm busy banging my fish husband, actually. Um, who knew serfs could be so useful? Now then, only one step for me. <laughs> I have two proposals for the plan ahead. One way or another, we will push the peasants to turn violent. <laughs> Get that airship, I'm hard at work. <laughs> I'm working hard, bro. <laughs> they gave me a month for it. That's enough time, that's enough time for my fish husband. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, what the hell? Lower trade? No! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you should pick lower farming. <laughs> You'll never get that. 
Oh my god, look. <laughs> well, that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> no, 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 that's not fair. That's cheating. You already have one trade. I mean, does it, is it for all of them? Diabolical. Why, well, you might even call it evil. No, it's for their own good. When you think about it, everyone will be better off with Emmanuel on the throne. Man, you guys just hate my fish husband. Just say it. Just say it. <laughs> <clears throat> With this final push, we will ensure the monarch soon has more than just a few angry peasants on their hands. Yeah, so once the fighting starts, I'll be right there, ready to step in and negotiate. Lower all regions combined trade to 10 or less. Okay. That is still good for me. Because you don't have that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fine. <laughs> that would mean that... Like, the patricians would have to lower their shit because... The chiefs, like... Please don't. <laughs> the chiefs. chiefs. Like, it, it's fine. You know, if we just keep the trade high... And, uh... You know, keep the stability... Kind of low. We're good. We're, we're in. We're golden. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do anything here, actually. I don't really need extra money. And I don't need to lower the fines. I don't want to increase it either. That's fine. Just leave it normal. Mm -mm. That's alright. That's alright. Thanks to Raul, also, but nobody's rebelling now. The hell was my baby? Horrible haunting. That's not my baby. I thought we'd have my child by now. I love their faces. <laughs> During a meeting with the councils and commotion erupts as Chief Orestrius lets out a piercing scream. Ooh, is this what I think it is? By Morgana Scaldron! By the Star Flare! It's here! It's here! Faint. Falling to the ground with a crash. Fetch him some water! This is a chief we're talking about. Servant runs for water and holds it to a restrious mouth. I thought I'd be safe from it here, but unfortunately, when we built a monument on my land, some manner of specter was disturbed and it's made me its target. What's it doing? Ugh, I'm really entertaining this nonsense. <clears throat> of course we are. I care about the chiefs. I hear voices, your greatness. Little pinpricks at the back of my mind. Just now I saw a, a horrid gray shape hanging over me. It's, it's face of a rotting mask. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> It'd be kind of scary. <laughs> Listen to the voices. No, we're too old for campfire tales, Arrestrius. I beg you, your greatness and gather nobles. Come to my aid. We must, we must banish this wraith. And an inquisitor to exercise his sight. Oh, that's gonna be tough. <laughs> Research the land. <clears throat> Ignore the situation. All will be fine. <laughs> oh, none of these are really good. <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> well, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm thinking if I should use one of these uh, laws, but I don't know. Honestly, none of these seem good, so just here you go. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Gamba? That's not a gamba. That's like a guaranteed lose. A guaranteed 0% chance it's gonna go well. That's not, no, that's not a gamba. That's just <laughs> the wrong decision. <laughs> Ain't no way this man believes in ghosts. No, but he's been haunted, guys. He's been haunted. Really, really, for real, for real. Rushes would never lie about that. Mm -mm. Not my chiefs. No. -uh. Mm-mm. And be it is, thank god. I think that's the only good one. A decent one. And the research, the line. I may or may not oh. have left a fair at the wedding altar while away on my hunt. Huh? I thought she'd understand. War was calling me after all. 
Or was totally planning to go back and make up with her once the rebellion was done and dusted. Mm -hmm. Also, as a nigh immortal face, she had a lot of practice time, if you know what I mean. What? <laughs> you can't just leave a fae at the wedding altar. You know what will fail like? They're dangerous. They're dangerous. You brought this upon yourself, didn't you? <laughs> All right, chief arch architect. This sorts of this sort of things an occupational hazard when building on historical sites. Keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Okay. Um. Find out what or who this ghost is. Of course, your Majesty. I'm sure it'll be easy enough to sort out. Hurries off to Quail Quail University to delve through the records. You can only hope Orestius' troubles do not get worse in the meantime. Please don't die. <laughs> Gunpowder gun powder incidents. <clears throat> Your esteemed highness, there's been an accident. Uh-oh, what's happened? Is it something with the muskets? Your colors gunpowder weapons you gifted us not too long past. Our levies don't know how to use them, truth be told. No one does. Recently, a barrel of gunpowder exploded in one of our camps. That's just one example. Uh oh. I did wonder if that might be an issue. <laughs> Your August Majesty. We were hoping you'd find someone to train our officers, or at least some instructional documents. Uh, I can try and find something. Hire someone, let them figure it out on their own. <laughs> Confiscate the weapons for your personal protection. None of these seem good either. <laughs> hmm. You give it us shit. Nah, it's good shit. Just need to le learn how to use it. Okay. It might be better if I do the royal gamble. For, the, for this one with the treasury. You know? So if you do pick that one, we get some of the money back, which would be good. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Go shoot some crabs or something, especially jeweled crabs. You can, yeah, you can use those for target practice. You know, Gl you know, gladly. I'll gladly bring you some bejeweled crabs to get rid of them. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of votes <clears throat> for a. Let's go. Uh, and we get some money back at least. Yay! We're not completely broke. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. We do get a bit more military, but it's all right. Nobles from across the coast are grateful for our authentic girl's expertise. The man you hired is rough and speaks little, but soon as your officer snapping clay pots from a hundred yards, you're interested in the stats. There they are. Hmm. It's all right. I sure, I'm sure I don't need to be worried about the patricians' military increasing, right? I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> uh, arms sh shortage. Wait, weapons? Your Majesty. <gasps> Me, it's you. The situation in the East is dire. Our peasant levies have suffered dreadfully in the last few seasons and are now refusing to serve in any future military action. I'm worried for the safety of my fellow counts. We must bolster our dwindling forces in the east. Who knows what will happen to our people without protection? Hmm. Now they're shut in a downturn of the east. I mean, that's honestly your fault for rebelling against me. Mm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> conduct an extensive eastern recruitment campaign. Force them to join. I am gonna veto this one. I don't want to lower farming. Yeah, the other two, it, it's fine. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Not fun. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I want to win. I'm so close to winning. This is the closest I've ever been. I want to win. I'm not gonna let you guys fuck it up for me. <laughs> now you get to make your own bad decision. Which gamba? Gamba 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 gamba. If we lose it now with 80%, that'll be so funny. <laughs> we got a messed up. Uh. Oh, 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 okay, B, B, B it is. 
<laughs> Conduct an extensive eastern recruitment campaign. Surely the peasants just need encouragement. Posters featuring your likeness pointing at the reader with text saying, Monarch Harley needs you. Soon plaster throughout the east. Ah, oh, perfect. They finally get to see what I look like, you know? We didn't have a coronation to start, right? So, uh, <laughs> people know what I look like now. Once again. Oh, let's go. It succeeded. <laughs> we at least got a bit now. Once again, you're thankful for the superstitious common folk. Perhaps only out of fear, peasants across the east line up for armed duty. The counts are most pleased. There you go, counts. You got your army. Your whopping. Who army? Hope you're happy. That's all you're getting. <laughs> I'm gonna trust you with more. <laughs> Turn up toes. Get out of my head! Get out! <laughs> oh, but if you're heading off, but thank you so much for joining. I saw also uh, people earlier were redeeming that, saying that they were gonna leave, but I completely forgot to comment on that. So, a very late uh, thank you for joining, like if you gotta leave. It's all right. This kingdom is in good hands, you know. When you come back, I'll have one and have my, my guppy baby as an heir. Mm-hmm. In good hands, I say. But what is... In good, uh... What are the things fish have? No, not hands, but like... Flippers? Uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call them? The flippers? Are they flippers? Fins? Not flippers. That's a Dutch word, I think. Fins. Fins, yeah. I don't know where I was going with this. I already forgot. Oh yeah, they're in good fins. <laughs> what the hell? Now you're seeing even less of the stats. <laughs> Look at me. Look at my hoodie. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe I should just stay like this the entire time. Don't think about the problems in the kingdom. Look at me instead. Just look at me. <laughs> Assassin Shiv. How sneaky. <laughs> Just when you're not expecting it. Come up from behind. <laughs> and whatever happens afterwards is up to your imagination. <laughs> Alright, please tell me I've got my air. Please. No, still? Oh my god. Yeah, oh, this, it can't take this long. Come on. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> what is this? <clears throat> A new contraption. Your mouth's pretty fog. Yo, thank you. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Your Majesty, a lord patrician by the name of Torskin Torsk wants to present you with a new invention. It better not be a newspaper printing machine. Oh? We are entering a modern age, a more humane age, yet botched executions are commonplace. Decapitations where the head doesn't come off, or hangings where it does. No more! Behold! Be behold! <laughs> no! Behold! A merciful machine for removing heads quickly and painlessly. I call it the Torskin Torsk. Is it? Is um. Oh. Oh, it is! It is one of those things that I forgot the name of. Um. Oh, what was it called? A guillotine! Yeah! <laughs> That's it! No, um, guys, it's a Torskin Torsk. Get it right. <laughs> he swishes away a cloth to reveal a huge machine of iron and wood. It has a hole for someone to place their head in, and a heavy blade dangling ominously above it. The sight sends a chill down your spine. How uh, efficient? Precisely! With the Torsk and Torsk, you'll send 12 heads to a roll, and in the time it takes an ordinary executioner to chop to a single neck. That's grim. <laughs> With a little funding, your majesty, I can distribute the Torskin Torsk across the kingdom. Do we want to do that? <laughs> okay, well, first of all... Why? <laughs> why Why are we doing this exactly? Why, what? System <laughs> says, Drisbane has resubbed for four <laughs> months with message I really do enjoy your voice, personality, and model. Ah! Drisbane, always making an entrance. 
Just remember, my charm is only for Shiv's ears, not for subscription flattery. Keep it focused on the stream, folks. <laughs> not you, Chip. Not you. Mr. Spain, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> but you like it. As y'all like it. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, Chip thinks like, oh, yeah, you're talking about my voice and my personality. Just me. <laughs> Call the Chip Chop. <laughs> We're gonna call it Chip Chop. <laughs> Up chip. I'll bring it to the council. I'll let them decide. I'll let you guys decide. A nationwide roller. What? 1k! <laughs> the second one! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I it on him! <laughs> that <made> <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking. Oh my god, that'd be really funny. <laughs> oh my god. Tested on Lord Patrician Torskin Torskin himself. Says, what do you think about renaming the guillotine to Chip Chop? <laughs> nice try, <laughs> Sephiria, but I'm not into morbid name changes. Stick to Twitch emotes and leave the choppy stuff to history books, okay? No Chip Chop for me, thanks. <laughs> No chip chop for chip, unfortunately. <laughs> it would have been a really funny name. <laughs> oh, guys, is someone gonna be the tiebreaker? Tested on Lord Patricia Torskin Torsk himself. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's evil. That is. Oh. <laughs> Are you in the chat, Torskin Torsk? Maybe it's better if they're not. <laughs> what? No, no, I just wanted to help people. <laughs> oh no! Lord Patrician Torskin Torsk is dragged to the Torskin Torsk by your watch captain. And his head is forced into the hole. Damn! No, no, please, please, please. <laughs> Dead. Blood everywhere. That's grim. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> wow. That is helpful. Oh, well, maybe... You guys, maybe we should have let him live. <laughs> this, this seems like a waste now. Well... Alright. Um, with the value of the Torskin Torsk now proven, you take money from Lord Patrician Torskin Torsk estate to fund the rollout across the kingdom. All right. <laughs> oh, what Dory's tyrannical. Should it be that high? I don't know if it should be that high. That doesn't sound too good. Um, well, sure. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, uh. Well, tyrant king, not on purpose. Not on purpose. Okay, let's try and lower authority somehow. Okay. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I discovered something interesting about the land on which Chief Orestrius' haunted monument was built on. What did you find? This ghost is actually Orestrius' great-great-uncle Bragi! He isn't haunting the building, he's haunting him! Oh, of course! Because that makes things a lot better. Um, <laughs> my my great-great-uncle's angry with me. I never even knew him. I can call upon Quail University for more information. Gods be good. I don't need information. I just want this ghost gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. These are all kind of bad. <laughs> hmm. Well, Arrestrius, unfortunately for you, we have no faith at all. So you will not be exercised from the ghost. Um. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> That one. If you put that, I'll get some money back. <laughs> Phew, it's not the Fae after all. I guess I've still got a shot. <laughs> you still got a shot with the Fae. <laughs> I mean, after you left her at the altar, I, I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> you know, what's the worst that can happen? You get haunted twice by two, by two ghosts? <laughs> 
You guys are such mean people. It's not me. Y'all are making these decisions. I'm just sitting here watching. <laughs> Ask a rushes to find out what the ghost wants. Ooh, I am actually curious. I oh, lost a bit of money. Whoops. Oh. You want to talk to this ghost? What if it's a demonic spirit sent from the seven hells to corrupt mortal minds? But the will of the council is absolute. Orestius hurries away to do as you say. Hopefully, great great uncle Bragi will be as talkative as he is irris. Ira what? Erasable. Irascible. I have no idea what that means. Never heard of that before. Vultures. You are my child, man. Oh my god. Greedy northern merchants are taking advantage of cheap eastern labor, your grace. Exploiting our natural resources and putting our trading companies out of business. <gasps> no. They're vultures. Vultures. Title drop. Is it really such a problem? This is just business. What should be done about the northern merchants exploiting the east? Kick out the chiefs. Or it's just business, baby. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think it really matters. I could veto one, but where's the fun in that? You know, I'm gonna see what y'all pick. <laughs> Color piggy here. Pretty sure the money is fine. I mean, money is good. You know? And I would be, you know, I would be supporting the Chiefs with that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it counts. I still have like I have a grudge against y'all. I got a grudge against y'all. Y'all caused me a lot of trouble with the with the rebellion. Not over it. No, I'm not. <laughs> it is just a business, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not sorry. Anyway, <laughs> an utter travesty. I should have known better to expect the council to be of any worth to anyone. No, thank the gods. My companies are safe. Glad this council sees sense for once. Oh shit! Look at you, chiefs. Look at you. You've got like 10, 10, 10, and then just ignore the other one. But look, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> you can't rebel. Shut up. Yeah, good luck. You need 10 to get a rebellion going. <laughs> You're min maxing, actually. I mean, the fines being on zero is also the best for me. So, you know, the only lowest thing you've got is faith. And everything else is, like, maxed out. You know? That's pretty sick. That's pretty good. Also, one of you got very rich just now. Who was that? Tommy, you are very rich. Look at all that money. Sai's also rich. Oh my god. Please tell me I'm gonna get my heir. Please, I've been waiting for so long. Please, my heir! Ah! <clears throat> it's happening. It's happening. My baby, my baby, my guppy, my guppy baby, my fish baby. Oh my god. <clears throat> Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask that my crown be passed down to... Oh, what do I want? Mm. Undaughter or child. Mm. Let's get a queen going. My daughter. The assembled nobles break out into a polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Yes, bro! Oh, your majesty, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your daughter? What is her name? Harley II. I am very original. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a nice name, you know. Most pleasing, your majesty. I'm sure little Harley the second will grow up to be a chip of the old block. Something here is fishy. What are you talking about? Are you insulting my daughter? <laughs> Congratulations on finding an heir! Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. I don't think that will be a problem, honestly. That like that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Expect a visit from the spy master soon. Pretty sure we've already got that. Like <laughs> a deadly request. I do really want to see what my baby looks like. Do you think they'll be like half fish? Oh, who knows? <clears throat> a noble's here to see you, your majesty. He says it's a delicate matter. Unfortunately. Oh, it's Arrestius. Still being haunted. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not merely here for a social call. I sit down to speak with my great great uncle Braggy, and I finally understand what he wants from me. He wants me to die. <laughs> In his youth, he was quite the rake. And he was trying uh he, he was having an I can't read. I've been reading too much this stream. And he was having an affair with none other than Monaco cannot be used. Great great grandmother. <gasps> oh my god. He told me that his most passionate letters are hidden somewhere in his villa. They must be destroyed for the sake of my family's reputation. That's got me worrying <laughs> about my letters. <laughs> you don't want to see the letters I've exchanged with uh, me and my fish husband. I couldn't speak to that, your majesty. <laughs> the, the trouble is... Mona refuses to let me anywhere near his villa, and I dare not mention the reason. Or else I'll ever want to embarrass my family. Ooh, Glorp, my dear husband. <laughs> I could pay a visit to uh, Mona on some pretext. I'm sure I could unearth these letters. Oh, Glorp. That would make me very happy. That would be, make me very happy, ma'am. Your greatness, I beg you, please tell Mona to throw his open his door so I can lay the scandal to rest. Things away there. He truly was a member of the Arrestrius clan. Exploring places, they really shouldn't. Classic. I wouldn't expect anything else. <laughs> oh my goodness. But we could just appease the ancestors in other way. Like, look, it's 100% chance. Wait, that's perfect. I feel like I should just do that instead. Our farming is so good. I'm sure your ancestor can be pleased by that instead. The drama is tempting, but this is really easy. This is an easy solution. Now I'm gonna do it. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm sorry. 100%. How can I use this die? <laughs> Who knows, maybe the drama will be uncovered later. <laughs> Very well, Uranus. I did hear that great great uncle Bragi had a great fondness for candied fruit. You know what? Great great uncle Bragi should just live with the consequences of his actions, you know? If the things get found, you know, fuck it. You know, it's, it's his fault. He leaves. Best fallen. Over the next few weeks, he collects a pro prodi pro 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 prodigious. Ugh, prodigious. I hate that. Prodigious amount of candied fruits, leaving them as an offering for great great uncle Bragi. He's very fond of them indeed. Ooh. It becomes popular. It becomes popular among the peasantry to leave out candied fruit to protect against ghostly forces. Merchants do a roaring trade in the things all across the north, and great great uncle Bragi rests easy. Nothing changes. <laughs> Faith can go lower, trade can go higher. All right, cool. That's <laughs> you should die with the consequences. Eh? <laughs> anyway, the words of prosperity. Your Highness, merchants are visiting the north from as far afield as Velomir and I Aethesh. A quarterly figures are stunning. Quarterly what? Your figure? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> money! Lots and lots of money. Your Highness, this modern economist has an audacious idea for all this wealth. But what wealth are we talking about? Call it an experiment. We give the peasants gold, whether or not they're working. And this will ensure a base level comfort, comfort and security for all. I feel like this wouldn't work. Oh, Glorp, don't agree. Splendid plan. It would help everyone in the North live a decent life. Harley, you'll say yes, won't you? By the Starflayer, what are you saying? That we should hand out cash for nothing? 
With respect, how is that different from Jeeves receiving fees from the sirs? It's completely different. Your match, this lunacy cannot possibly be considered. It is really depends on how much money is being given, you know? Like, if it's a little bit of money, that's probably all right. But if it's like that much money that you literally do not need to work, then, you know, it doesn't. So, uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, either it's social benefits or communism, and the, like, uh, where's the, there's no in between, or what? Um, um, I don't know. Like, all of these do a lot of different things. That's a lot of info. Um, Mine as well, plus treasury and defiance, defiance, well, um, okay. Ability probably shouldn't go any higher. Preferably not the first one. We'll increase ability. We don't really want trade to go down either. It seems like all of them will make it go up, so it's, um, well, some of them make it go up, so it's all right. Oh my goodness. Be the way. The first one. That'd be smart. I was already looking at the other ones, but. Alright. Good. Zero Istrius says, yeah. Yeah. Oh, country Strius, <laughs> a man of few words. <laughs> Your yeah speaks volumes in its simplicity. Keep the mystery alive, my noble friend. <laughs> I feel like even if I didn't veto A, I don't think it would have won anyway. You know. But you can never be too careful. Mm -mm. Especially when I'm this close to winning the game, please. I think I really just need one or two more seasons and that's it. It's good because I like any longer in a stream would get very long. Man, a few words until I taste a drop of meat. <laughs> hey. Delighted, the chiefs travel to the capital in droves to give speeches about how to copy their own success. I kind of miss what won just now. Well, it's alright. And that's why it's so important for hardworking people to invest a portion of their profit each season. If you just hold back from luxuries like pomegranates on toast, you can't. Ooh, what's a pomegranate? What's profit? Boo! <laughs> Get off the stage! Or at least start dancing! They don't like you. <laughs> they start throwing mud, rotting vegetables, and beer bottles at Chief Tommy, who leaves the stage early. Well, at least you tried, man. <laughs> Nevertheless, the other nobles are impressed with the brave chiefs, who are willing to share their economic wisdom with the masses. As word spreads, even more merchants travel to the north to do business. <laughs> Bullshit! All you need to do is kiss the king's ass! Hell yeah! <laughs> you almost said, uh, kiss the royal behind. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, that that's an actual thing I said earlier in the game. <laughs> it is that easy. Oh shit. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, oh no, <laughs> one of them's gonna Okay. Um, any of them for five trade? Yeah, okay. Okay, so... There's two things to increase and lower stability, and two things to increase and lower trade. Alright. Um... Yeah. Let's try and make sure stability doesn't go up, huh? <laughs> um, I can't. I can't. I'll let you take a look at the stats again. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm, -mm. <laughs> That's not what I said, but it's what I understood. <laughs> All right, let's get through the auction. Let's go, let's go. I'm just happy now, honestly. I'm just happy because I know I'm gonna win, unless something really, really bad happens, which I'm sure it won't, right? Huh? Surely not. I'm so close to winning. It's all going so well. I have my air. Barring stats are so high. Well, what's the worst that can happen? Like, you you guys can't rebel now. Your, your defiance is too low. 
<clears throat> Worst that happens is that Green gets his stability up, and uh, they win with that. So let's try not make that happen. Okay, okay. Okay. We good. We good. We good. I see y'all trying to donate to the last second. You do gotta keep it in mind that there's a bit of stream delay. But, uh, let's go. Nothing happens. I'm happy with that. <laughs> my ambition. Finally! Finally can do that! Oh my god. Did I just win? I'm already done. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be the parent of a nation. And I did become a parent. But not necessarily of a nation. I became a parent of my baby fish. But it's alright. <laughs> well, anyway, you're reaching that goal. The peasants are thriving and well fed, and they think of you fondly. Well done, Your Majesty. Oh, man. Like, shut down your noble scheming for good. We need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some, have some ideas. We actually need to do more. Folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. You become beloved by the peasants, and the nobles won't dare overthrow you for fear of revolution. Or you could declare war on the Ashmedian Empire. <laughs> no. Unless. The nobles will forget their schemes if you win. That sounds like a lot of work, honestly. I mean, I could. You know? I, I really could. Ability in farming? Farming and military. Oh, fuck. <laughs> farming and military would be the better option, you know? Then I don't have to raise stability, and military is already really high. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, nah. I hate that's actually the better option. Like, look. Is <laughs> like, farming is already high. Obviously. But now I need to pick. Do I want to increase stability? Or do I want to increase military? My axe thirst for blood. Mm, okay. And we do have the muskets, right? <laughs> blood for the blood god. Alright, I'm convinced. Okay. <laughs> I may look like a peaceful king with my fish husband, but in reality... You know, I'm... You know, I said at the beginning of the game, I may look strict and stoic. I'm very sweet. Just kidding! Just kidding! I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to war! <laughs> I'm doing it for my family, for my fish family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doing it for the kingdom. So war, really? You won't be able to have a child again. I already have a child. It's fine. I've already taken the liberty of contacting the Ashmedian ambassador. I mean, this will literally help me win the game, so... Hello! Greetings, Your Grace. I'm here to discuss the terms of our upcoming war. Um, negotiating the Empire's surrender, I hope? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Ashmedian Empire is far larger than your kingdom. Did you wonder why we never squashed you like a bug? Because we're divided by internal conflicts. It may seem that the Empire is ruled by its emperor. In reality, Ashmed is ruled by its generals, who battle endlessly for control of the capital. Okay, so... Why, why are you here? I'm here representing General Telecan, whose land are safely distant from the border. If you were to invade, all we ask is that you send us your signal. Oh wait, does he want to work together? We'll launch a civil war! Taking advantage of the chaos to bump up some of our own rivals? Wait, that's sick. Wait, okay. No, wait. <laughs> Bold plan. I will leave you to think of my words. I will probably take it. <laughs> if we take advantage of these medians empire's internal division, we might actually have a chance. If we beat our oldest enemy, that would shut the nobles up for good. But winning still won't be easy. Your priority is to raise the kingdoms over our farming and military as much as you can. And of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's still it's low, it's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Oh. Your Majesty, I bring brave news. A missionary went up north to bring true faith to those pagans, but last week, I'm dead. <gasps> no, on the outskirts of a remote village. May he rest in peace. Murdered? Just so, Your Majesty, not just murdered, but sacrificed. <gasps> no, in a devilish ritual. One of the awful pagan gods was found draped across a stone altar with antlers embedded in his head. Oh, that's kind of grim. <clears throat> My god, this game can be long if you didn't die like five minutes in. I know, right? Like, if you actually want to win, it does take quite a bit. It would have been faster if y'all didn't rebel against me. <laughs> we must send an inquisitor to the village and root out the killers. See if we can increase military somehow. No, you can lower it. What about farming? No. Probably not lower military. We never rebelled. We are loyalists. That's true. You guys didn't. You guys didn't. I'm looking at the counts and the patricians. I'm looking at those two. Hmm. We don't want to increase stability either, but that's not in here. Save it for a more important one. Yep. Alright. Let's see what we pick. The missionary was what? full of nonsense. He spoke of banning alcohol across the kingdom, proclaimed no. hunting animals work of the wicked. He spoke of hunting the fairs they were supposed to be demons. But worst of all, he slapped Grandmother Oristrius Mead out of her hand to bring her into the God's light. No! Such an offense cannot go unpunished. <laughs> the missionary slapped your... your grandma! Oh my goodness. Now we can't have that. Oh my goodness. Cruel. Mm-mm. The, oh, the mead out of her hand? That's even worse! Oh my god, not the mead! <laughs> Order the chiefs to bring the murderers to justice. Die! Very well, your majesty, but we'll seek justice the northern way. A few weeks later, the village god speaker undergoes a trial by combat. Damn, she loses her life in the process, which means the old gods judge her guilty. The church has mixed feelings about these pagan methods, but are satisfied that the murderer has faced justice. That kind of seemed like the best solution then. Very nice, very nice. Invitation. Your Majesty, this year we will be holding the Winter Fest in my clan hall. It would be an honor if you could at attend. Ah. Uh, maybe we could. Yeah, sure. Priest! Ha! We're looking forward to having you back in the north where you belong. Hell yeah, my family, my family. <laughs> okay, this one went pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> I'll just do normal pack, I think. I don't need anything in particular. The game's gonna tell me again, like, you're too poor. I, I like, uh, leave me alone. I don't need that much. <clears throat> Ambition conquest. Let's go. I mean, I don't even know if we're gonna get to the feast. I might just win the game before that. <laughs> For the last few months, your marshal has been crisscrossing the kingdom, drumming up the troops in preparation for your first strike against the Ashmedian Empire. Today, at last, she's returned, and she's brought one of the counts with her. Your Majesty, the nobles are proving reluctant to commit their soldiers to your cause. They've sent a delegation to speak with you. Oh, You guys, ugh! Then, Count! Your Highness, of course we all support war with the accursed dogs of Ashmead. Of course we do. We're more patriotic than anyone. But uh, we're concerned about the harvest. Your Marshal's telling us to raise all our able-bodied selves. If we do that, who's going to gather the crops? The kingdom could starve. 
Let the meat kick. <laughs> Damn peasants will just have to tighten the belt. No, maybe we shouldn't be mean. We wouldn't want that. Just damned cowardice, if you ask me, your majesty. But all the nobles are echoing this nonsense. The fools are worried about going hungry for a few years. Until we can persuade them that the kingdom will survive, they won't commit their full forces to our, to our banner. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so good. It's going so well. <clears throat> By the blood of the dead, your grace, you're right. The kingdom can survive a few hungry winters if it means teaching those Ashmedian bastards a lesson. Was that easy? That easy. <laughs> That's the spirit. I trust we have the backing of the counts in starting this war then. Yes, your majesty. Let's do this. Aha! One by one, your marshal approaches the no nobles of your council. Taking their approval for the launch of a war against Ashmead. That's the kind of gamble we like. Hell yeah! I suppose it would look bad for the patricians if we did nothing while the rest of the kingdom fought. Your August Majesty. Fine. We'll send our troops. Aye, Your Majesty. The chiefs never back down from a fight. You have our axes. Yippee! Let's go to war! I like the enthusiasm, but it's been a long time since the kingdom mobilized so much of its army. We need to ensure they're up to the task. Huzzah! <laughs> Backings of two military. That's alright, just purely. With the chief's military, you probably would have been fine. <laughs> the other two are a bit low, but it's alright. I'll assemble the troops at once. Farewell, your majesty. Okay, bye. Ooh. Please, 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 please. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my god, we're so lucky. We are so lucky. <laughs> I mean, it was 80%, but still, you know, it could have failed. It could have failed. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some water. Hold on. Oh, the camp stretches out for miles outside the walls of the city. The ground has been churned to mud under tens of thousands of boots. As you approach, you are greeted by an awesome sight. Rank upon rank of hard-faced footmen holding swords aloft. Knights on horseback, their played mail glinting. Archers and crossbowmen, breeding furiously, hitting target after target. Beautiful, ain't it? Good work, my marshal. Thank you, your majesty. Let's march! His soldiers let out a full throated roar. Rah! <laughs> For the kingdom. For the monarch. Let's go! The army is a fast thinking, hungry monster that swallows up the landscape as it marches south. When you arrive at the border, your soldiers spill across like a flood, sweeping away the surprised Ashmedian sentries in their path. Then we warned the other group that we were coming. To tell you the truth, you didn't see much of the fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Your job is just to give inter inspirational speeches before the battle starts, wave a sword around, and then duck back into your tent. <laughs> Despite that, or perhaps because of that, your first Ashmedian campaign is a huge success. By the time you return to the capital for winter, you've conquered almost a hundred miles of territory along the border. Damn, that's quite a lot. <laughs> I'm so happy I got two wars this game. <laughs> Man, y'all really hungry for blood. <laughs> As the city gates swing open, you're greeted by a rush of joyous sound. Clapping, cheering, peasants are throwing roses at your carriage. <laughs> the people love me! That's- wow, that's surprising! Every playthrough, they always hate me! <laughs> what?! <clears throat> <coughs> that is crazy. Really behind you, of course, is also a retinue of wounded soldiers nursing deep-seated trauma and uh, grieving their lost comrades, okay. The peasants largely ignore them. <laughs> They're not important. I'll hear the monarch, the conquering hero. Wave to your fans, draw the curtains, or pull out a sword to give it a waggle. I'll be nice, I'm a gentle king. I'll wave to my adoring fans. The cheering somehow gets louder. They really think you're a hero. Even though you spend most of your time in the tent or looking at maps. Oh my god! 
<laughs> when you return to the palace, your husband is waiting for you. Your heir, Harley II, in his arms. My darling, you're finally back. I've been breathlessly following the tales of your conquest. I just love it every time he appears on screen. It's like such a whiplash. Like, gah, a fish. <laughs> Makes me wonder if people are joining the stream. They keep hearing about the husband and now they fi they're finally seeing him like... Fish. <laughs> Thin guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I only wish you'd brought me along. It sounds like good fun, but I understand. Someone needs to hold down the fort. We have so much to talk about. Little Harley the second has been growing up so fast in your absence. My baby, my baby guppy. <laughs> Oh, of course. Well, well, hurry back, my love. The council wants my attention. What do you want, council? What do you want? Let me spend time with my child and my daughter. Ah, and you step back into the council's presence for the first time in many months. The nobles all look up at you with trepidation. Welcome back, your grace. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your victory. But now we can get back to the business of ruling. There are many votes that need your attention. <laughs> no. Excuse me? Did you forget there's a war on? But what about democracy? Constitution? <laughs> Did the monarch misspeak? We may have won a victory, but Ashmead will strike back. And strike back hard. We don't have time for votes. We need to prepare. <laughs> oh my god, a tyranny! And if you squabbling bastards don't unite behind the monarch right away, you'll wake up next year with the Shmedian soldiers in your bedchambers. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Alright. Nothing like a common enemy, eh? <laughs> yes, your highness. If there's one thing we hate more than each other... It's the Ashmedian Empire. We don't really hear a lot about the Ashmedian Empire besides this, you know? <laughs> but, 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 but what is the feast? Oh, don't worry. I'll find time for it. Surely. You know? I I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. After that, the nobles never defy you again. But it's not like your life gets easier. Your Majesty. I hate to interrupt your meetings, but I just received word that the Eshmedian Empire is marching on our newly conquered territories. We're sending 30 regiments. We need to mobilize immediately. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just in war now the entire time. Okay, you head back to the palace to say goodbye to your husband. Here we go again. I mean, it's alright. You know, we've got a good military. We'll manage. Look at that! <laughs> he chose for this. It was the easier option. If I picked the other one, it would have taken like an extra three turns, probably. Or more. Or I would have just lost. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go! Unable to convince the peasants to act in time, the Count's scheme fizzled into irrelevancy. Perhaps next time, they take matters into their own hands instead of hinging their plans on the whims of common folk. The chiefs celebrated their victory! And Harley was venerated as a true hero of the North. Some whispered that the chiefs were losing control of their puppet as the monarch consolidated their power around their heir, Princess Harley II. The princess, the patricians' attempt to replace the monarch's advertisers and advisors never panned out. One night, noble patrician Space Axolotl awoke to find a smiling spy master holding a knife to their throat. Kindly, kindly asking them to desist. <laughs> like, stop that, please. <laughs> <clears throat> now, don't worry, Peggy. We're almost done. I'm just reading the end here. And then I want to see what my daughter looks like. Oh, the chat didn't have a revolution. We had the queen. How rare. I know. It, it, like, that always happens. It, it usually does. I think this is the, sec the second time in, the in all the times I've played this game that I won. The second time and I don't know how many. <laughs> Monarch Harley's reign spent another 15 glorious years. Damn! Mostly spent fighting in foreign fields. They conquered land from Davalin and Ashmead, lost it, campaigned to get it back. By the time the old warrior died, 
They were battle scarred and celebrated as a hero. Most of all, they were tired. I mean, more for 15 years. The game length was three years, nine months, and I reigned from another 15. My spouse was Glorb of the Coast, says a Queen Harley II. Wealthiest nobles! Oh, goodness. Uh, Thami with 4k and the poorest, uh, uh, J. What? The varsity selector? I don't see your name. <laughs> 100. <laughs> I mean, we've seen someone poor, which is five. That the hardest to make you succeed. I'm so glad I finally won. I just known out like the next three games. Oh, is that my successor? Is that my heir? I just know now that the next three games, y'all gonna try to just absolutely destroy me. You know, y'all let me win once, and then <laughs> the next few games, like, I'm not allowed to win anymore. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like a fish at all. Look. Maybe, maybe they've got like a covering on their head to cover the fish parts. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah. No, wait, that's not a... No, that's the hair. Oh, they're ginger. I thought it was like a... An orange covering on their head. It's good to see that my dear cousin has grown into a fine ruler. His axe may be small, but he makes up for that with heart. <laughs> now, if you fine nobles will excuse me, I have a hunt to go back to. I have recently been haunted by acorns dropping on my head and snowmen lobbing <laughs> rock-filled snowballs at me. I must make some amends <clears throat> to make and I better bring the most beautiful bouquet the world has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I only did like half of that. <laughs> yeah, dear cousin has grown up to be a fine ruler. That's the most important part. <laughs> you have fun being haunted. Nah, you know what? I, I'm not. I, I don't like the the orange hair. I'll just keep pretending that's like a like a drape. He's got cover up his uh, fish head. Yeah, I like that more. I like that more. Like he's part fish, but he, he covers it up. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, that's my theory now. Nah. All right. Very cool. That's gonna be it for today. It's not too late, thankfully. Very cool. All right. All right, let's move this game. <clears throat> I think we did pretty well. We did pretty well, right? Yeah, yeah, I think we did pretty good. <laughs> this right there, thank you for the follow. I'm close to the game, I still hear it. Oh, wow, I got... There we go. Alright, sick. Sick, sick, sick. We can turn off the overlay now, I think. I don't want to have that on when I'm not playing the game. Oh, I think I just completely uninstalled it. Whoops. Oh, it's fine. My face! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> since it's already pretty late, let me just already find someone to raid. Mm. Oh my god, my throat. Ah. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that was fun! Yeah, it was! I really like this game. I really like it. This is one of those games that you shouldn't play it all the time, you know? Play it every now and then. That's best. I'm gonna sleep by Shiv. Yo, have a good night! Oh, and uh, the, the, uh, 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 Piggy, you were also gonna go? Or who was it? Uh, all of you were gonna go to bed. I mean, to be fair, it is late. You know, so... I hope y'all have a good rest. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my god, my throat is killing me. Um... I think I'm just gonna send you guys to CL. I hope he's not had ending soon. Uh, he streams for a long time usually, so I think it's fine. But, guys, before I send you over to CL, um, and before I start promoting my social and shit, I wanted to mention that, um, I got already post the socials, but um, I think for Friday stream, we're gonna play Stardew Valley. I think. Yes, me 
and my friends, we are all very addicted to Stardew Valley. So we have collectively decided, you know, since we're not able to play on Saturday, we're probably gonna play it on the Friday instead. <laughs> so, you know, just kidding. You know, we said no Stardew Valley this week, but uh, there will probably be Stardew Valley. <laughs> No, no dot. This is good news. Side. You don't understand. This is really good news because Stardew Valley is so entertaining and fun to watch. <laughs> Double Stardew Valley, I see it coming. Nah, nah, because, you know, we still won't be able to stream on Saturday. So, uh, you know, we pretty much moved the Stardew Valley stream one day earlier. Yeah. Because uh, on Saturday, I am going to a party. Um, I won't have time to stream. I won't be at home. Um, so yeah. Stardew on Friday. So... Just so y'all know. It's not gonna be a single player game. Um, and yeah, that's about all I wanted to mention. <clears throat> Good news for you guys that love Stardew Valley. Which includes me. <laughs> I have been making, um... Like a... <clears throat> You know that Stardew Valley has an online planner, right? Did you know that? Well, it does. It does. So I've just been, uh, like, planning our farm layout on there. Like, our current farm layout was made on that. And I've been... I've updated it a bit. So I'll probably be working on that on Friday. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Gaius, it's always you! Much bandage guy. <laughs> no, but yeah, I've been updating the farm layout. Um, so I'll probably spend most of the time on Friday just, um, working on that. You know, it's not that many changes, a little bit. It probably won't take the entire stream. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll be busy with that. I've, I've got, like, nah, it's fucked, guys. I'm quite literally addicted to Stardew Valley. I literally have post-it notes here with, with just stuff I want to do in Stardew Valley. It's, it's three notes. It's three post-it notes. And they all got like 10... Like, bullet points of stuff I want to do. I'm addicted. It's not even a joke. And it's <laughs> so we will not be bored on Friday. Um, Soup already confirmed that she wanted to play it on Friday. So I hope it will, you know, still happen. Otherwise, I'm just gonna play single player. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck him. I'm gonna play it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Since when is their face 6k? Uh, inflation, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I already saw that the socials were sent earlier, but I'm gonna send them again. If anyone's new here, you either came uh, from a raid or you just found me. I hope you enjoyed being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, I, I, I play this game occasionally, not every time, but... Um, yeah, so, you know, it is, it's, not, it's not the last time I've played this. I'm definitely playing it again. I'm gonna continue from the same save, probably. Um... What else? Oh, yeah. And if you want to continue chatting with me and others in the chat, you can always join our Discord server. Oh, yeah, don't forget to get your daily chips in. <laughs> last, last chance now. Last chance. And, um... Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God, you hear it in my voice. Oh, my God, I've been talking too much. <laughs> Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Beautiful. Really smooshed. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna send you guys to uh, CL, who is playing Monster Hunter Rise, which I still haven't played yet, and everybody keeps telling me to, but I haven't because I'm too lazy. <laughs> But yeah, um, here are the raid messages. Let me copy that so the emotes actually work. Poor bot is poor, has no sub. Um, <clears throat> yeah, be sure to send over the love to him. Say hi to CL. Stick around. And um, yeah, again, thank you so much for joining the stream. I hope you all have a good night. Get, to, get a good rest. And I'll see you all on Friday for probably Stardew Valley. I'm looking forward to it. Mm hmm I'm so excited. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. <laughs> and, um... Yeah! That's it! <laughs> Bye, everyone! Have a good night! Or good day! Have a good anything! Bye! <laughs>